Hello, Internet. How are we today, huh? <laughs> um, let me just get everything situated. Ba 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 bum bum. Very nice. Here it is. Final Fantasy IV. Uh, do I have the audio for this? Let me check. I do not. There you go. Oh my God. Look, I know you can't tell by my horrible, horrible, horrible streaming schedule. Which is pretty much non-existent. I just kind of stream whatever the fuck I want. But I have been eagerly anticipating playing this game. For a long time, I called Final Fantasy IV my favorite Final Fantasy game. Until I played Final Fantasy V and then... Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> Still, though, this game is very good. I have a lot of memories uh, from it. Partly because I played it in my preteen years. It was probably the first ever traditional Final Fantasy game I ever played. Uh, well, not even Final Fantasy, just traditional RPG in general. Turn that OST up? Is it really low? Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how, how is the audio? By the way, this is not the original title screen from the, the original release of Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> you would know this because it, it doesn't say Final Fantasy 2. Yes, I am playing a ROM hack of uh, FF2 USA so that it restores everything that was lost in localization. <sighs> There's just so much, so much to pog over in this game. God damn! It's not even like something... <laughs> it doesn't even have to be something pog worthy. I just, I just irrationally love this game. It could even go up a bit more. Are you sure? I don't know if I'll be talking over the damn thing uh, the whole time. Bowen, how much of the SNES version have you seen? I'm curious, because you grew up playing the DS version, you know, with all the cutscenes and the voice acting. Yuri Lowenfall, huh? <laughs> I also have a list here of uh, some of the changes that were made, I guess just to start out with, just so that you're aware. Uh, we can read it together. Together. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Yep, and is it gonna come out cropped? Hopefully. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the DS version is the only one you played. Alright, so <clears throat> Final Fantasy IV Naming Way Edition is an attempt to bring Final Fantasy IV, FF2 US, closer to its Japanese counterpart. This uses the excellent work by the 593 Project 2 as a base. Using modern names where possible and abbreviations where necessary, all items, spells, commands, jobs, and monsters are renamed. Monster sets, including the final boss, are restored to their original, along with spell learning rates. Also added to the mix is a B button dash, rather than toggle, or just walking everywhere. Also added is the original treasure chest and save point graphics. The maps have been restored back to their original FF4, including the developer's room, which I've actually never seen myself. So uh, I can't wait to uh, see and make fun of Nobuo Uematsu. I'm sure he's an ugly monster in that. Items now have extended descriptions. I wonder if that was a feature of the original Japanese version or if that's just something that they added for quality of life. Uh, in addition, the script has been heavily worked on recently to bring it as close to modern translations as possible within text limits of the game. This used the notes by Mato of Legends of Localization. Ah. I was actually thinking of like opening up a separate tab just to kind of look over that while I'm playing the game. Not sure, not sure. Because I love reading through Legends of Localization. As well as looking over the PSP and DS translations to hopefully offer the best script possible for the SNES version of the game. So yeah, they're going to be using terminology that was used in uh, the more recent versions of this game. I'm not sure if they're going to go for Eidolons or Summons. We we'll have to see that as we go on. I mean, for those of you who even understand that in the first place. Uh, put that there. Nope, do not do that. Uh, close that, close that, close that. And is that all? I don't think I'm going to be playing music during, uh, like other music, aside from the game's soundtrack. Not even for grinding, I just love the soundtrack for this game a lot. There you go. That said, you've seen randomizer seeds of the SNES version. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're not playing the original FF2 US. 
I'll try and point out what's different, because I, I, that was the original version of FF4 that I played. <laughs> Captain Cecil will arrive in the Baron soon. Good. It bothers the captain as well. Orders or not, it isn't right. This looks a lot like Super Mario World. Very good, Hen! This game is on Super Nintendo! <laughs> Taking a crystal from innocent people. For what? I often forget that the soldiers here, like, kind of have a bit of a moral compass. Are you sure that the game's audio isn't taking me? It's a little loud on my end. Rip the city, yeah. <laughs> You've been taking brain stories recently. Your brain has grown five inches in width since then. Wow, it's well balanced on your end? Okay. Captain, there's Red Wings, the pride of Baron. Okay, what a strange thing to bring up. Yes, I know that. Must we beat thieves sent to plunder the weak? The game audio could be a little quieter. Alright, no problem. Just a bit. Hopefully that's not too quiet. Enough! But Captain, the Mycidians didn't even fight back, yet we took from them. Listen. Possessing the crystal is essential to our prosperity. Moreover, His Majesty deemed the Mycidians know too much about the crystal's secrets. We are the Red Wings, the Air Force of Baron. The Royal Command is absolute. Captain. Nope, still just fine? Cool. Monsters at the fore! Battle stations! <laughs> LeBron James, if that is your real name! <laughs> Red Fang, uh, that's an item that uses, I think, Fire 3, Faraga. Ah! Are you okay? We've got more incoming! Damn it! Zoo. Blue Fang. That item got taken out of the original North American release. Everyone okay? Yes, sir. There are too many monsters these days. Too many indeed. Perhaps it's some sort of omen. Captain, we're now over Baron. Very well. Prepare to land. Remember <laughs> thinking the 3D rendering on DS was fucking amazing when you were 11. <laughs> I guess compared to like some of the DS titles there, like just seeing 3D in general is impressive. Yeah? <laughs> Nowadays, this game be kind of ugly on DS. Yeah, because they up it on the Steam release. But even that doesn't look too good. I fucking love the SNES OST. Well done. So the crystal is ours. The Mycidians were helpless. I'm afraid I don't understand. This way, Cecil. Is that the in-game narration? It sounds like a lot of... It sounds a lot like you, if it's a coincidence. <laughs> Oh, you don't say. I also provide uh, backup vocals. Please wait here. I'm accommodating people in the chat who can't read, alright? <laughs> Your Majesty, it would appear Cecil's faith in you begins to waver. Truly. As Royal Guard Captain, you've done well, Bagan. Bagan? Bygon? Bygone. But it matters not. Taking the crystal is more important. Send him in. Yes, Majesty. Yes, your Majesty. Captain! His Majesty bids you enter. Bids you enter. Is that even right? The Kingdom of Baron hails your return. May I have the crystal? Yes, your Majesty. I should actually like try and give distinct voices, but I'm I'm not very good. I'm sorry. Relinquished the water crystal. 
I don't think it told us what crystal it was uh, in the original. It's genuine, my liege. Yes, what splendor. Cecil, you are dismissed. Your Majesty. <laughs> Look how they both spin. Yes, you were dismissed, Captain. Forgive me, but what are Your Majesty's intentions? My men are confused and displeased. As are you? No, I only ask, do you take me for a fool, Cecil? After all I've done for you? This wounds me. I cannot place trust in one who offers none in return. I hereby relieve you of your command of the Red Wings. Your Majesty, I love the little like timing of the music because I don't think uh, any of the previous Final Fantasy games have done something similar. Maybe, maybe like when transitioning from like room to room, but not in like mid conversation. The King of Baron receives a water crystal. Hmm. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Yes. I now charge you with a new task. Lady Eidolon, ah, there it is, that infests Mist Valley and deliver this Carnelian Signet to the village of Mist. Oh, Bowen, uh, so you should know this. The original localization of FF4 called the Carnelian Signet the Bomb Ring. Yeah, it's uh, a bit of a spoiler for what ends up happening. <laughs> to the village of Mist, you leave tomorrow morning. But the DS version changed it, so that's not so obvious. You've come to appreciate FF6's mid-battle cutscenes, too. I gotta do a whole distinct voice for Kane. Ah! Your Majesty. <laughs> it just sounds the same. I don't have much range in my voice for that. Cecil meant no harm! Idiot Cecil bringing the bomb ring, yeah. <laughs> Kane, if you were so concerned about Cecil, you could accompany him. Your Majesty, take the ring and be gone. See Signet. I'm sorry, Kane. Don't worry. You'll be back in command of the Red Wings in no time. Yo, Kane has a deep ass voice in the DS version. Maybe I should try and do that. Get some rest. Leave tomorrow's preparations to me. It's almost like trying to do a Knuckles voice. SA1, SA2. <laughs> Not advanced adventure. The king seems off lately. I have grief in the king. Oh yeah, here's the run button. Oh! Also changed in this. Active weight? This was not in the original US release. There was no switching between active and weight. I'm not even sure what it had. I don't remember. It might have been set to active uh, by default. I don't know which I should choose, though. Uh, I've always been more of an active guy. Mm, as for battle speed, slowing it down actually makes it easier. I know that from playing some randomizer runs. Uh, I'll have that at 2 and I'll have that at 1, and we'll change this to a bit more of a turquoise color. Because I like green. You should definitely voice all the characters if they ever do an OVA of this game. <laughs> yeah, sure. What's wrong? I'm sorry for dragging you into this. I came to your defense by my own free will. I envy you, Kane. I mastered the Dark Sword to please His Majesty, but out of my desire to protect, not to destroy. I understand you're wanting to be in His Majesty's good graces. I became a dragoon to feel closer to my late father. Anyways. His Majesty must have his reasons. Now get some sleep, or do you plan on having me do all the work tomorrow? Oh, don't you worry. Wow, he's just like me. Mist Cave is to the northwest. With you and Sir and Kane teaming up, none can stop you. Hey, yo, you're right on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heard you brought back the crystal. Oh, aren't you so chipper? <laughs> You're getting a lot of Sonic Jam 6 for the Game Boy vibes from this game. 
We're working on the use of battle magic. Oh, you know what's really interesting about this, actually? Uh, the box art for this game, uh, the, the original Japanese release. FFIV, box art, Japanese. Ew, not 14, I meant 4. This. <laughs> Look at this. Shows you, uh, well, it's a little spoilery, but has a black mage and a white mage, you know. Two classes that you never use. Well, well, they don't look like that. <laughs> I just thought I should point that out. Uh, here it is. Cecil is not a ginger. That's right. Uh, I believe that was a change they made like very late in the development. Cool, you loved FF4, the sequel on PSP, or was it Vita? Uh, I think Interlude is on PSP? I'm not sure about... No, the, the whole complete collection was on PSP, right? And that might have Interlude and the After Years. Interlude has never been re-released, so it's only ever stayed on PSP, but After Years is on Steam. I'm not sure if I'm playing that. Favorite FF game? Yes, it is. This is... Well, this isn't my favorite one. This was my favorite one for a long time, until I played 5. This tower's off limits. Oh. My sprite didn't even spawn. Have you seen Sid? Finally, a little bit of sleep. Uh, I'm kidding, Cecil. Please don't tell Chief. The Chief. PSP has both interlude and after years. There it is. Okay, yeah. Uh, I've seen very little from those. Amano had his work cut out, huh? <laughs> I think those designs might have been based off of, like, the sprites. Where was I? It might have been a whole different artist entirely. From Kazuko Shibuya and uh, Amano. Hold on now. This isn't the Pixel Remaster. Hell no, it ain't. I want that OG SNES music. Hey, Bo. Thank goodness you're all right. I was so worried. How could we be hurt? The mages didn't even raise their hands. Cecil! I'll visit you later, okay? Of course. FF4 slaps? Hell yeah, it does. I remember being so fucking engrossed in the story uh, when I played this when I was 12 years old. You prefer the SNES OC? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, there are some standouts in Pixel Remaster, though. I won't lie to you, but just in general, I love the whole package that is this. Of course, with the, the few mod modifications, like the run uh, button and uh, some quality of life stuff through this ROM hack. I don't know. This is the first version that I played of FF4. Then I went on to play GBA version, then DS. I hadn't, haven't really beat any of those. The mages who resisted are confined here. You can talk to them through the bars. Oh shit. Blast you all. Damn you vile woman. <laughs> you don't understand. The crystal is no ordinary gem. You only have like 10 hours in this game, so you might not join every stream. Aw. Go and fucking beat the game then! <laughs> Please return the crystal to Mysidia. Um, nope. You know what I also like about this version? Uh, which I, I think the Pixel Remaster doesn't bring back. Hopefully it doesn't. I hate the portraits. I think they're distracting. The the portraits that happen like in in conversation, I think they started doing that since the GBA releases. I don't know, it just bothers me. I, I hate seeing Cecil's face after his dialogue. Or before. Go and beat the game, he says. Took you thirteen years. <laughs> well, it depends what version he's playing. DS version is the hardest. How are my ships doing? Hey, something up? To tell you the truth. What? Who didn't lead the Red Wings then? What the heck's the king thinking? I'm not gonna make him any more ships if he's... Uh, if airships. If he's using them as tools for killing. Hey, I gotta get going. My daughter's worried because I've been taking too many all-nighters. Later! You like the art style, but you don't want to see the portraits in-game. <laughs> you love the character portraits? I love them in this game. But uh, when they became more detailed, I don't know. I think it just ruins what I thought 
the characters were, like what I envisioned them being. I don't fucking give a shit what Yoshitaka Amano uh, feels these characters should look like. I love the sprite art. <laughs> I love the pixelated uh, portraits from the original. <laughs> Allow it. Yeah, nah, you're fucked late game. Well, in this version, they've restored the, the difficulty, so... Uh, who knows, maybe I'll actually have trouble with this. I've changed your li linens. Your linens? Living early in the morning, sir. Sleep well. You love the character portraits during combos, especially in FF1 and 2. Are you gonna play the Pixel Remaster of 5? No. <laughs> as much as I love 5, no. This scene had a cutscene uh, in a DS version. DS and Steam. What happened to his majesty? A kind, good knight who raised orphans like Cain and me. What would a man like that want with something like the water crystal? Its value must go beyond mere riches to demand theft from unresisting villagers. Orders or not, my actions were un... <laughs> you can do it, Chris. Unpardonable. Rolling your thumbs until the Pixel Remaster of 6 hits next month. <laughs> Roll what does that even mean? Rolling your thumbs? Like a long... Like like your analog sticks or what? <laughs> You're playing the DS version. Oh. Uh-oh. Cecil. I thought this scene was beautiful. <laughs> the the 3D remakes version of this. <laughs> Very romantic. What happened? You just returned from Asidia and now you're sent to slay on an Idolon? It's nothing. Rolling your thumbs basically means patiently waiting. So you mean like twiddling your thumbs. Then why do you look away? In Mesidia, we took the crystal from innocent people. I never thought my heart would reflect the color of my armor. Yet here I am. One of the best songs in the game? You are absolutely right. I love this theme. You're a good man, Cecil. You were Swedish. It didn't translate well. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm a dark knight without the courage to disobey his king. Batman? You've never heard the original theme of love. Like, I love it. The Cecil I know would never whimper like this. The Cecil I love is... <sighs> You're headed for mist in the morning, right? If anything should happen to you, I... Don't worry, Kane's coming too. It's late. You should get some rest. Be careful. Uh, someone might have to refreshen me up on what exactly Rosa does. <laughs> does in this castle? Like, is she training to be a white mage? Is she teaching people? Something along those lines, right? She's using her white magic for something in this castle. Uh, also, hot take, DS soundtrack is pretty damn good. Obviously, the SNES OST is better, but DS isn't bad. <sighs> it's middling. Let's go, Cecil. Well, rather, <clears throat> let's go, Cecil. I'm counting on you, my friend. Then you've nothing to fear. <clears throat> Thus the Dark Knight Cecil was stripped of his command as captain of the Red Wings. He and the Dragoon Cain left Baron for the village of Mist in a valley come on, shrouded in deep fog. <laughs> The advent of the airship marked the realization of mankind's dream, but also a new age of avarice. 
with the might of its Royal Air Force, the Red Wings, Baron soon reigned supreme. But why does the king seek the crystals? Why do monsters rapidly multiply and stir unrest? Also, someone remind me, did FF1 also have this problem of people noticing that monsters were appearing? <laughs> Actually, isn't that like every Final Fantasy game? Uh, the crystals shed their something qu <laughs> quietly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't read that. Kane's left-handed, right? Oh my god, I haven't heard that in a while. Yo, Vinicius, I, I think. Thanks for subbing, man. Jeez. One of the best versions of the FF theme is the one from the FF5 credits, but this one's great too. True, true. This one's probably a bit more iconic because it's very early on. But yeah, I agree. Yeah, he's left-handed. Dark Knight and Dragoon. Dark Knight. Is this a variation or based off of the Magic Knight from FF3? They're not called the same thing. Also, Chris, you played some Battle Garega. It's fucking awesome. Saturn Port even has bonus characters and an option to play the OG or a new arranged soundtrack. Ooh. A world, a world map theme? Yeah, it's good. Da, 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 da. Anyways, let's uh go through some mechanics. If I can navigate the menu. I'm sorry, I, don't, I forgot how it works. Oh yeah, I can also run on the overworld. Pretty cool! Mmm. So, we have some restored abilities, such as the darkness ability right here. You see that? That wasn't in the original US release. What this does is it attacks everyone uh, at the cost of me taking, I think, an eighth of my total HP? Maybe? Something like that? It works differently in the DS version. Apparently, I think it's a buff and it only attacks one one at a time. Like, you have to select which one you attack. You mean Dark Knight casts from HP? Is the FF3 job the same? No. The FF3 one is called... Uh, M Magic Knight or Mystic Knight. No, no, it's just Magic Knight. And it can cast White Magic... It's kind of like a Paladin, now that I think about it. Wait, Darkness wasn't in 4 US? No, it wasn't. <laughs> so... Yeah, this is how it originally worked in the Japanese original. Locked. I'm gonna try and read as much dialogue as I can just to... Just to settle in. <laughs> oh, I thought you could read these. Oh, there you go. Buoyancy and its principles. Uh, buoyancy, isn't that, like, the property of, like, floating? Ow! <laughs> Bruh. A history of shipbuilding. See, look at all this lore you're getting from just attending my streams. Birds of the world. What were you on, Square? <laughs> Another all-nighter? Dad's gotta realize he's not that young anymore. And he needs to stop arguing with people when they badmouth the king. Mm. New engine's done. Zuz. Yes. Ah. Item? Nah. Oh shoot! We got to see the uncensored uh, <laughs> swimmer dance. What, what, why, hello, sir. No, I've said nothing bad about the king. Come, watch me dance. In uh, FF4 US. She just had a, a yellow dress the whole time. Never took it off. Meddling in the affairs of Mist is a bad idea. Grimoire these days that our king trains his men to, in the way of the Dark Sword. I forget if in Final Fantasy III, the swords for the Magic Knight, if they were called Dark Swords. They were a different kind of sword, though. They, they had, like, Japanese names, like... Like, uh... Ashura. Like the Ashura Blade. Maybe they're just called Blades. Hold on, let me see. Parodies music. Ashura Blade. 
Uh, FF3. Yeah, tell me what kind of weapon type it is. A katana, okay. Wait, it is called Dark Knight. Never mind. Never mind. It's called Dark Knight. Yeah, see, let me show you guys. There it is. However, over here... Makenshi. Magic Swordsman. So, Magic Knight, Dark Knight. So yeah, this is kind of a... Uh, would progenitor be the correct term? It's the, I guess, <laughs> what Cecil's Dark Knight uh, class is based off of. <laughs> Who wields the Masamune in this game? <laughs> Probably uh, Edge. But let's not talk about him just yet. Mist is past the Northwest Cave. The western building leads to the underwan eh, to the underground waterway. I'll get better at reading, guys. Don't worry. It's a work in progress. <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> Joanna. I believe this is Rose's mom, right? I hear the king ordered... The king's ordered you. The king has ordered you, you men, to do terrible things. Oh my god, I cannot read. I beg you, don't drag Rosa into it. Maid kiss. Oh yeah, I, that might have been taken out of FF2 US as well. So, FF4, aka FF2 US, originally had a, a heal all item here. It was the, the remedy item. Or I think it was just called heal. As opposed to antidote, eye drop, uh, maid kiss. And it was something that you could buy for like 100 gil. It was very cheap. And it heals all status effects. I, I'm not sure if it got taken... No, it didn't get taken out here. It's still here, but it costs like 5,000 gil. It's a lot more expensive, and you can't get it uh, as easily. Not in like the earliest towns. That's one way that they made FF4 US really easy. FF2 US, FF4 US, you know what I mean. Broken? Yeah, the original. So I think they might have even taken out Maiden's Kiss, Eye Drops, Antidotes, Gold Needle, because you didn't need them. You had one item that could just restore all those, heal them off, and it was very cheap. Why is your armor dark? Are you a bad guy? Wanted, cute dancers, inquire at counter, Baron in. Sir Cecil, we've been paying all our taxes. Kissing in my SNES RPG? Ew! <laughs> Dwarf bread. Uh, eye drops. Tent. Do you say anything? No. Okay. It was cool to hear how your name is pronounced by an English speaker. <laughs> Vinicius, right? What the fuck does Dwarf Red do? It, it acts as sight. <laughs> uh, it, it used to be called Gnomish Red in Final Fantasy III. Welcome, Sir Cecil. Money? I couldn't charge one of the King's Dark Knights. In fact, I'll show it off right now because I do not need to use it at all. Does this game even have a map? Yeah. Oh yeah, we have uh, item descriptions. That wasn't in the original. Zoom out to see world map. But it doesn't show you all of it. Just zoom out. <laughs> it just says a little mode 7. So yeah, there you go. Um, I could grind a bit. Just a bit, because I know uh, this game's going to be a bit harder than what I'm used to. Dwarf bread, give, dwarf bread gives you a map. It's so pointless in 3DS, yet it's there. Removed in three picture master. Oh. 
Oh yeah, if I press select, uh, you see those percentages right there? That can act as a bit of like a, an ATB gauge. That wasn't in the original. So, see right there, 33%. 66, then Cecil went to zero. That pretty much means like, you know, the whole percentage of like how close I am to acting. Why the hell is an item that gives you a map called Dwarf Bread? I don't know. You know, now that we have the Darkness ability, I think I'm going to be spamming it a lot. Removed in 3 picks remastered because the map is given by the start. Yeah, makes sense. I'm going to do something that I've never done before. Stock up on items. This is as far as this game goes. There you go. Now we're good. That's one of the things that turns you off from the original. No ATB bar. Eh. <laughs> I don't mind it. What do you think of this uh, menu coloring, by the way? I would usually go for black, but I've been feeling a little turquoisey as of late. Yeah, this is how I would usually play the game. Oh yeah, one of the, the annoying things that plagues all versions of FF4 is the way the the row and formation system works in this game. Ooh. Is that a bronze hourglass? Let's see. Stuns all enemies, okay. So! Notice this. Cecil is in the middle. He's in the front row. Kane, right above him. Back row. If I do change, does that. I can't select uh, the character I want individually to be either in the front row or back row. My party always has to have, assuming I have five party members, either three in the front, two in the back, or two in the front, three in the back. I hate that. I can't just have everyone in the front, can't just have everyone in the back. It's three or two or two or three. That unfortunately afflicts every port of this game, every version. You think that's changed in DS? I don't think it is. Uh, Bowen, do you remember? That's true even of DS version, yeah, there you go. I don't understand it because in like every Final Fantasy game since, or pretty much every other one, I don't think that's the case. Really? Yeah. I don't know why I have Kane in the back row. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've had eight beers and decided to bake. Let's go. Uh... <laughs> you mean that isn't like using an oven? Stay safe, bro. It's very cool that your messages lag so much. You had that question answered before it was asked. Alright, here we go. Mist Cave. Okay, since I have a bunch of potions, I'm just gonna spam this. What do you guys think of the sprite art of this game? For a 1991 SNES game. Wow, they really fogged this place up. Yeah. It's weird. Go back. Who's there? Love this theme? Yeah. Pretty good, honestly. Yeah, I don't mind it. You've always had a soft spot for 16-bit JRPGs. Same. Ever played Lufia? Yes, I have. I first played those games like some three years back. You go for red when you play an FF game with menu color options like one or two. I'm sorry, I didn't read that. I like just saw it. Uh, you already know what I do with any kind of custom color option. <laughs> do I? 
Sprite art is nice, nothing on par with 5 or 6, but it, it looks like a 91 game. I think it looks better than a 91 game. I mean, compared to something like Super Mario World, which I think looks too basic. I mean, still a decent game, though. One of the best OSTs on SNES for absolutely no reason. What, Lufia? You know what's also exciting? Uh, the next Final Fantasy game I'm playing will be completely blind. Either Final Fantasy Mystic Quest or Final Fantasy Legend 3. Yeah, Luffy. Okay. Ooh. Okay, not too bad. You'd simp for FF5 any day, but you're fairly certain these character sprites have better details. You might be onto something with that, actually. But it, it might be because FF5 is just brighter in general. Mystic Quest battle music and dungeon music goes hard. <laughs> They're less chippy than 5, you think? Yeah. Please, no more encounters. I didn't level up at all, did I? Oh no, Cecil did. Leave now. Is this the Eidolon of Mist Cave? Knights of Baron. Who's there? Turn back now and no harm will come to you. Show yourself. Do you still wish to go on? We must deliver this ring to the village of Mist. Then I have no choice. The Mist is gathering. <laughs> Let's not go for a jump here because uh, of a certain mechanic that this boss has, which we'll see in a second. You just recently beat both PSP version and PR version. This game is fuck. Aw, this game is fucking sick. I'm still your favorite. Hitting the miss is futile. Don't attack until. Dragon reforms. <laughs> Seeing battle mechanics like this really impressed me when I was like 12. And I think it was because, like, I wasn't. I didn't think that the SNES was like this. Like, I was very intimidated to, like, start trying out. Oh. <laughs> to, like, start trying out uh, JRPGs. So this was, like, a really good beginner JRPG for me. You find that attacking the mist is futile tech so condescending. <laughs> what is the game that's going to be blind playthrough? Both Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, uh, which is one that was released in the US only. It's like a stupidly easy Final Fantasy game. You, you can't even call it a Final Fantasy game, really, but... It's the, the FF game made for America, right? That and Final Fantasy Legend 3 on Game Boy. Attack while its tail is up. It'll counterattack with its laser. Very good noise channel imitation. Yes, very good. <laughs> noise channel. <laughs> Look! The mist gathers! Get his ass. Work in this version? Ah, come on! I was gonna try something out. Have you played FF Type Zero? No. Hold on, I need to try something. Ah, come on! <laughs> That actually scared me. That was a jump scare right there. That being said, I prefer the 
<laughs> the, like going into battle transition as opposed to what GBA has. Cross, did you finish Avatar Book 2? Yes, I did. I watched my three episodes. Hello there. Hey, Blue. Alright. We're gonna go in, and then we're gonna go out. And, oh no, they fixed it! No! The mist skip! <laughs> oh, well. The ring, it's glowing! Yeah, the bomb ring. <laughs> what the fuck is the miss skip? So if you go in and you exit back out, uh, when you're on the overworld, you're going to be on top of the town, right? Then you can go to the right and completely skip the events of this place and just go on to Kaipo Desert and all that shit. And you can also go back to Mist from the other side and you can buy some dancing daggers early. A lot of crazy stuff packed in those last three episodes. Yes! Yes, there is! Why? Why? Mom, please. What's that? Fuck you, game. I couldn't do the miss skip. I couldn't save Rydia's mom. Mom's dragon died, so... Mom, mom did too. I've heard of their lot. Summoners named for their ability to bond with Eidolons. So, when we slew the dragon, we also... Her mother... We... You murdered Mom's dragon? We never intended this to happen. Shit. <laughs> Mom looks like a piece of bread, lol. <laughs> well, uh, this mission just went wrong, dude. Fuck, pranks in the hood gone wrong. His Majesty wanted to wipe out the summoners off this village. Of the village. Are you going to finish the job, Cecil? Kane! She's a child! You'd betray your king? Betray him? Any man who'd wish for this. This massacre is no king of mine. Heh. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. King? I owe his majesty much, yet I can't disgrace the honor of the dragoons. So you'll join me? Baron's army is the mightiest in the world. Our fight means nothing if we remain alone. We must share this with other nations what we've seen. Share this with other... Share with other nations what we've seen. And Rosa would join us. Thank you, Kane. I'm not doing this just for you. Huh? How did you survive but everyone else died? We're tough. <laughs> We're built different. We'd better get going. What of the girl? We can't leave her. <laughs> it's just a war crime, bro. Nothing serious. <laughs> Happy Sponge. Listen, it's dangerous here. We have no right to your trust. But please come with us. No! There's no time to reason. Just grab her. No, go away! Wait! Don't come any closer! Get away from me! <laughs> Kane, get her! <laughs> Imagine if you could act fast enough. You can actually kill Rydia. Uh, <laughs> in, uh, in, like, the randomizers. Because you can act fast enough and shit. But I don't think it really changes anything. <laughs> you can kill her and her Titan summon. Well, maybe not the Titan. I don't know. I know you can defeat her, though. Oh, she's alright. Kane? Kane! Can't stay here. Kane... Please be safe. Where would Kane have gone? We know what happened to him later on, or at least I know. But in the context of that little tremble that happened, what, did he fucking just fly away? Where'd he go? He's not around, like, this area. Would he be in, like, the other side and maybe he, like, trekked back to Baron? Quite curious. 
This is the only instance where a powerful attack actually affects the environment. True. He went to Brazil. No, he didn't. I wonder if this damage is split. It might be? He's a Dragoon. He may not be able to fly, but he can definitely almost fly. I guess. I played FF7 for the first time yesterday. Are you proud of me, Cross? Call me Cross one more time. The Oasis Town of Kaibo. Kaibo Kaipo. Kimetsu no Yaiba. Hello! Oh my word! She's so pale! Please take her to rest, free of charge! Thank you. Vloud. <laughs> ah, you're awake. I haven't heard your name yet. I won't ask you to forgive me. It's my fault you lost your mother. But at least let me protect you. Please. You're very happy the entire chat has adapted Cross. No! <laughs> oh shit. We just busted that door down. At last we found you, Cecil. His Majesty decrees the summoners of mist are too dangerous to let live. What? Give us the girl. Never! Ah, oh, you can just knock them down one by one. You call 75 Chris 5, not Chris, rather Crust. Bruh. I think this battle be background is reused for... <sighs> Am I really just about to spoil that? No, come on, Chris, you, you know better. Look, I just think it's reused like one other time in the game. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you laugh, you lose. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. You've no need to apologize. It is who I've wronged you. It is I who've wronged you. Ugh. And apologies won't right the things I've done. But you protected me. I'm Rydia. Summoner Rydia joined. Well, damn, just like that. Spoilers, Pago. <laughs> this boss fight was pretty difficult in the DS. Didn't kill him one hit in DS. Really? Wow. Time for the ultimate in your feelings music. Well... It was pretty short-lived, I'm sorry. You know, there was a time where I used to call Vidya my favorite video game character of all time. What a fucking hack. I'm a liar, if that is what I am. <laughs> Bro, it lasted minus two seconds. <laughs> Have a mug of Kaipo's finest. Holy shit, is this a scholar? <laughs> An FF3 scholar. It, it got recolored. I'm on my way to Fabul, but a strange old man denies access to the watery underpass. Only Damsian royalty can enter the Antlion Cave east of the castle. Who the fuck's stopping them? Or people who aren't royalty? It's because of, uh... <laughs> their, uh, hovercraft? Yeah. You're pretty sure Rydia speaks longer in that scene in DS version. Maybe. Welcome! We have few customers these days due to the monsters. Always be blaming the monsters, bruh. It's you! You gotta improve yourself! <laughs> the watery underpass is northeast of here, but eight huge sea snakes block the path to Dampsian. <laughs> oh, is that so? Anna fell in love with someone. Sage Tella wouldn't approve. So, she ran away. Punctuation, that seemed kinda weird. The S version has a revised script, so did GBA. So does this ROM hack. Rydia was your first and last fictional crush. Right, sea snakes. <laughs> okay. Did you guys know that in the Pixel Remaster, uh, arrows are infinite. You don't have to keep on buying them. 
In this version of the game, you do. <laughs> oh no. You should improve yourself now. Wait a second. Can I... Yeah, I can, okay. Forgot you can do that. They're also infinite in DS. Wow. Oh, there was a ROM hack I played where this building right here was converted to a shop. Which had, like, uh, Shiva, Ifrit, and uh, Ramu. Like, summons that you can buy. I want to go to Damsian to be a dancer, but monsters block my path. Want to see my routine? How often do you use arrows, though? <laughs> There's only, like, one character who, like, uses them. Well, maybe Rydia can. Google Chrome, Narrow MK Clips, Sephiroth versus Joe Biden, Death Battle. True, true. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. If you're gonna travel with that little girl, put her in the back row! <laughs> you don't gotta tell me twice. FF3 Pixel Remaster actually sounds like fun. With the changes, that is. Lol. We found this barren woman outside town. She keeps calling a name. Do you know Cecil? Now how in the world did Rosa even get here? How? Did, did, was she like sneaking behind me? How did she get from the castle to this desert town? Oh, I didn't read that. Cecil, don't leave me. A sand pearl could cure her fever, but they're in the antlion's nest. The only thing you know about this game is the ring kills everyone in the village, and that's it. This should be fun. Well, we already skipped that part. I think you, like, just joined right there. Oh! Uh, what equipment do you have? Level 1! Oh, Rydia! Should I invest in arrows? Bone arrows? I mean, pretty much a waste of money anyways. Okay, yeah, you can equip it. But nah. <laughs> Wait a second. In the original FF2 US, this used to be like a, a training room building. As in, like a, a tutorial place that taught you everything and naming way was there. Not anymore. It's fine once you get Eduardo. Your team is immortal. Yeah. Copium. Why is Rosa's hair in this version white? It's brownish in the other version. Blondish too? Alright. I need to grind Riddy up a bit. Because she can't do anything at level 1. She might have some spells. Oh shoot! I completely ignored my boy Pedro. What's up bro? Yeah, no spells, maybe one summon, yeah. She's prone to dying and... Ah, one hit. Alright, this might take a little while then. If I hold A... Does that allow me to just, just like auto attack? Because then I can just speed up. Oh, neat tidbit. Uh, if if one of your characters is dead, the experience that would go to them instead goes to the rest of your remaining party members. So, uh, Cecil got more EXP there than he should have. Naming way in DS isn't DS. Well, I know. I played the DS version. I own it. Uh, he was repurposed to, like, several different roles, where, like, he gave you, uh, like, a magical map. Where if you fill it out, uh, it gives you an item. You've noticed that happens in 6-2. Okay. Yeah, bestiary. Summon. Summon. 
I know one of these enemies can drop uh, an imp summon. Maybe it might be the imp itself. But I forget what it does, other than just a standard attack. Sahagin. <sighs> oh, that reminds me. This game introduced me to uh, <laughs> searching up what the shit that I'm seeing in the game is. <laughs> By that I mean, so Sahagin. Let's search that up right now. What is a Sahagin? Sahagin? A reoccurring enemy from the series. Da -da -da. It is often portrayed as a fish that walks on land. Looks like a turtle there. But uh, where does it come from? Let's see. Etymology. Uh... Ah, Dungeons and Dragons. Neat. So you learned something. Uh, so you leveled up, right? Did you get any magic? Stop choosing Cecil. <laughs> okay, yeah, Blizzard. Let's get Rydia to level 5. 10? Yeah, let's go with 10. Okay, tell me the origin of every monster you encounter, Chris. I'll try, alright. Mind Flayer is also classic D&D enemies this series borrows. True. They're in FF1. Okay, we got Cure and Sight. So yeah, Sight also does pretty much what the Dwarven Bread did. See? The Sonic Encyclopedia is the perfect book for this kind of mindset cross. They tell you everything. Oh yeah? What animal is the Moto Bug based off of, huh? Bet you can't tell me? <laughs> Back up. Encyclopedia? <laughs> Ah, here we go. Give me my imp summon. Sahagins and are in one to three, you believe. They're definitely in one. Cause you would fight them with sharks and like some eyeball monsters. I don't remember them being in two though. Could be. See, look how fucking good that move is. How could they take it out of uh, the US version? Rydia's spells are pretty strong, even in AoE. I hear that in Pixel Remaster, they nerfed the uh, item spells. Like, if your weapon could cast a spell, if you use it, like, that was nerfed. It's a ladybug cross. I mean, come on. That's obvious. <laughs> Speaking of cross, I just got a cross. Cure's Curse. I've never been sure, all too sure, what Curse does, aside from maybe it decreases attack and defense. I could switch it up. Let's see, the Curse status. Uh, it has various consequences, typically involving lowering stats or preventing characters from performing a limit break. <gasps> That's right, it was in 2. Okay, but in FF4, the curse status halves base strength and defense attributes. Can be cured by using a cross or casting Essena. Uh, in the 3D versions, the stat reduces all attributes by 20%, and players can inflict it on enemies through the curse augment. Huh. That's right, augments. Those were uh, a thing that allows you to teach abilities and magic to other characters. Chris, please look at this. This is fucking awesome. <sighs> All right. Open link a new tab. Let's see. <laughs> Why'd you show me that? Is that real? <laughs> I didn't need to see that. I definitely could have gone without seeing that. Alright, level 6. We're making great progress. Give me my summon. I 
learned something about this version of the game, though. Apparently, if... Uh, if Edge is unsuccessful at stealing, he takes damage. I didn't know that. That's not a feature in the DS version, though. But... In the SNES release... He can... He can steal multiple items from the same enemy if, they, if they're carrying, like, four items at a time. Like, he can steal all of them. Uh, but in DS version, you can only steal one of four items. So, yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> mm, Hassan, bad future. So, it's photoshopped, right? That's what you're telling me? Yeah, I need to grind with Rydia as much as I can before Tella starts stealing all of my EXP. The elderly constantly stealing from uh, our youth. Can't have that. <laughs> Obviously, it's too cursed to be real. <laughs> Insectus. <laughs> what a name. These guys can't possibly have, like... Oh. I didn't know Paws did that. Hold on. Insectus. Oh, I wonder what Insectus is based off of. Or I guess they're called Larva. Hmm, let's see. Etymology. A larva is a distinct juvenile form many animals undergo before metamorphosis into adults. Did you guys know that? What about this eye wing? <laughs> the eye wing moth. Uh, there's no etymology for this. What the fuck? No! How am I gonna know what a moth is? Shit. <laughs> Chris being based right now? And then they die bitter and useless. What, larva? No. <laughs> Honestly, like, everything relating to bugs and their metamorphosis and shit like that freaks me the fuck out. I hate seeing, like, up-close imagery of uh, insects and bugs and shit. Bruh, this is like third grade science. And mostly bugs take on the name larva or larvae. <laughs> Larvae. <laughs> you know, like the guy who shouts gay in the back of the classroom? <laughs> it's so stupid. No old people. Oh. <laughs> Tella is totally an anti vax type. Oh. Damn, bro. R slash Splatoon. The stars aligned, and then it's a, a little heart locket meme. Hund legs. I'm gonna add this to my uh, my notes. Let's see. We're gonna record them in our Pokédex. <laughs> Hund legs comes from a portmanteau between hundred and legs, making a reference to the roots of the word centipede and the species itself. <laughs> Not even an hour in, and he's derailing. <laughs> You hate spider enemies so much in games. True, true. <laughs> he called Tella anti vax. <laughs> Is it just for his attitude uh, regarding uh, Edward dating Anna? So insightful. Have you ever seen a centipede, huh? I remember when I was young, there was a centipede that invaded our church basement. I remember seeing it crawling and it was huge! And that shit scared me, it made me never want to go down there. Centipedes are genuinely creepy. True, true. I honestly just feel like people who stream these games don't talk enough about the enemies. So, uh, we're gonna make... We're gonna put a lot of effort into that. Fuck centipedes. Ugly ass bitches. What do their larvae look like? Do I dare fucking, like, search it up? I, I kinda do. Centipede larvae. Do you guys wanna see this? 
Oh, I, I, I'm like getting like a little twinge, just like thinking about pressing enter here. That's all right. I mean, I'll, I'll cope with laughter, right? I'm looking at a centipede in the game right now. It's it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna switch that up. No. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> it's scary. God, Chris, just oh. What? I'm creating content. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! Enemies also work in like a front row, back row type of thing. <laughs> Apparently, the hund legs are also called hand legger. Huh. Screw you, Chris. Why are you guys mad at me, bro? You mad, bro? You mad? <laughs> I have three tens? I'm rich! Alright. Let me save my game, get some items before I meet Tella, uh, and then I'll go back out and use my tent there. <laughs> Ooh, a vile shell. Damn you, vile woman. Tell me about these. It, it doesn't tell me anything about these. Uh... While it may cause some problems if Rydia is underleveled, after Tella joins the party, Fangshell should be no problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh, Waterbug, which in other translations is known as Amoeba. What is an Amoeba? An Amoeba is a type of cell or organism with the ability to alter its shape. What can you guys tell me about shellfish? Because they look pretty terrifying. Fine. I'll respect your content grind. <laughs> but you're a beta, remember that. I'm just satiating my curiosity. <laughs> Stop being mean to me. Amoebas are terrifying. What makes you say that? Oh, shit. Refresh? What does that do? I have a way to switch it up. Oh, uh, what? Okay. I didn't think it would retreat. Retreat or retreat? It says here, Amoeba counters magic with heal. Uh, also known as restore or remedy, which restores HP to itself. Okay. Good to know. Cells, what are those? <laughs> <laughs> You're a beta, remember that? <laughs> Maiden's kiss. You have a a low anxiety of the brain eating amoeba. Is that real? That's horrifying. Love speed up. Okay. Okay! That wasn't too bad. <laughs> the machine's reached its limit. <laughs> Slow down, Chris. <laughs> it's okay, I'm winning. All right, I'll start running away from everything now. I don't need to fight all this. All my characters are gonna get. <clears throat> Chris, Chris, mm. don't say anything. <laughs> no, no, I know better. What can you tell me about killer fish? Come on, Pokédex, hurry up. See also, killer fish. No etymology. What the fuck? <laughs> Killer fish. Uh, in Japanese, it says here Kira Fishu, also known as Ichdus. Killer fish, Karibe, Pike, Fly Killer, and Ichdon. They often attack in large numbers, 
but are generally weak enemies that shouldn't pose any threat to the player in any game. Damn. <laughs> Why would they say that? That sounds like an opinion. Loudest throat clear ever, the fuck? <laughs> Dropping Gil? Stop losing your social credit. I almost read that as SoCal credit. What can you guys tell me about SoCal? What the hell is that? Is that a monkey? Kira from Death Note's Bizarre Adventures. <laughs> you can't let Elfish know I'm Kira Fishu. <laughs> Here he is! Dark Knight, hear my plea. A wicked bar tricked my daughter into running away to Damsium. I sense she is in great danger. You must be... <clears throat> rather, you must be Sage Tella. Indeed. I need to rescue my daughter, but a gigantic monster blocks the way. My magic alone can't defeat it, but your sword might help. Is this girl a summoner? She's quite gifted, I sense. We're also on our way to Damsium. Excellent! Let us work together to get there. Does he call Edward Spoonie? Probably. Bomb Frag. <laughs> I like the name Vile Shell. Ooh, Recall. So, Recall, hold on. I don't think that Recall spell was in FF2 US. But what it does is it just like randomly chooses one of Tella's many spells. I think maybe even some that he doesn't have at this point. Let's see. Or did he? I don't think he did actually. Maybe he failed. He can randomly roll Tondaga. Well, he failed at that point. Actually, let's check uh, how it works. Recall. Recall is Tella's ability. This ability was removed on the SNES North American and Easy Type version. Recall has a charge time of 1. This command is disabled if Tella is silence. Uh, Tella has a 15% chance each of casting Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, or Toad, a 5% chance of casting Break, Bio, Tornado, or Death, and a 20% chance of doing nothing. What? That doesn't add up. Oh wait, each. Okay, so 15... each for Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, or Toad. So that's 60%. Then 5 each of Break, Bio, Tornado, or Death. That's 60, 20, and then 20% chance of doing nothing. Okay. So, no, he can't roll, Dundaga. Uh, he has a 5% chance of rolling each. Uh, break, Bio, Tornado, or Death, which are pretty respectable spells uh, for this point in the game. Yeah, FF4 Easy Type exists. So, FF4 Easy Type was like a modification of the original Final Fantasy IV that was only released in Japan. It simplified the language that the game used, and it made the game easier for little, little kitties. Yeah? <laughs> you think he can in DS? Maybe. Oh, hold on. In the 3D release, Tella has a 31% chance of casting Toad, a 10% chance of casting Fire, Blizzard, and Thunder each, 6% each of casting uh, Fyra, Blizzara, Tandara, 4% of Faraga, Blizzaga, and Tandaga, and 3% chance of casting Bubble, Bravery, or faith. I don't even know what those three are. The latter three are normally only usable with the twin cast command. Oh. Unlike other releases, Tella retains recall after Mount Wonder deals. Huh. So that means he's gonna lose it at some point. I didn't know that. Hey Chris, how are you? Guess what? I'm gonna learn how to drive and hopefully you're gonna get your driver's license. Good luck, man. I didn't get my driver's license until I was like 18 years and like 10 months old. So pretty late. And I got it on my third try, but uh, don't let that discourage you. I'm sure you'll get it. Mm -hmm. 
Are you guys aware of the secret room here? Any of y'all? Just under this waterfall. I learned it through doing uh, some FF4 randomizer seeds. <laughs> Vile shell. Google, what does the word vile mean? Extremely unpleasant. Ah. I, I knew it meant something bad. <laughs> Extremely unpleasant. You wonder if they kept it in 3D. Oh, that secret room. Oh, who knows? I mean, to my knowledge, it's the only one in this dungeon. Yeah, who cares? I'm just gonna drop Gil all, all over the place. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is the first Final Fantasy game with the ATB gauge. Uh, question, has any Final Fantasy game since not have it? Had it, rather. Or like, which one started not having it? <laughs> Bruh, ask <laughs> your phone, uh, just ask your Google Assistant on your phone to speed up the process. <sighs> Come on, bro, leave me alone! 10? Really? Huh. FF13? Oh. But yeah, uh, the ATB gauge allows it so battles act in real time. Which means you can't take your sweet ass time while selecting what you want your characters to do. Mm. Unless, of course, you select weight. Where's that? Yeah, here. But that still doesn't change the fact that uh, it allows the game to keep track of which party members act first, like which enemies act first, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 13 had it? Okay. And also 15. Oh. Nothing there? Something there. Zombui. All right, what is a zombie? <laughs> the reoccurring enemy. Etymology. A zombie is an animated corpse resurrected by mystical means, such as necromancy. Since the late 19th century, zombies have acquired popularity in North American and European folklore. Huh. See now, did you guys know that? Bet not. Where the hell did my mouse go? Oh, here it is. FF7R brought it back. Did it? Alright, let's go and attack them. That's <laughs> a great school knowledge. Brought back what? Uh, the ATB gauge. Please notice how Cecil's Dark Blade only does one damage to the zombies. Night of the Living Dead was actually a 75 Chris 5 stream. Haha, <laughs> got him. It has tactical mode, which uses ATB to cast spells and use special techniques. Hmm. Tactical. I'll take this on. I can't make sense of Rydia's sprite. <laughs> Let me explain. Right there. So you see her like just standing in place right there? I can't make sense of like her legs. What's going on? It looks like she has one leg. weird. 
but you also have normal hack and slash on top of that. Huh. Oh, you just let me get there, man. <laughs> just like Cecil. I, I, I guess, yeah. But I didn't want to point it out on him because he's cool, you know? <laughs> he's just like me for real! <laughs> oh shit, the original uh, save sprite. The little save uh, floor tile. This field wards off monsters. You can use tents and cottages and even save. Let's use my tent to rest for the coming battle. Free tent! You so want to see me play FF7R. Do you? Oh, I didn't even give Tella his voice. Fast asleep. She must be exhausted. She's a summoner? A summoner? <laughs> From Mist Village. She's a very gifted mage. With proper training, she could even do more than... <laughs> With proper training, she could do much more than summon Eidolons. Such a sweet face, much like Anna at her age. Who's Anna? My daughter. She ran away to Damsium for Bard, as I disapproved of their union. Why are you two heading there? My friend suffers from desert fever. 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 Ah, so you seek Sand Pearl. Then we must hurry. Tell me about this cavern's monster. A dreadful beast with eight huge tentacles. We must slay it to save Anna and your friend. I only hope it's not too late. I like the, the little quiet, like... Uh, the water falling from the ceiling of the cave. I could have sworn there was something over here. No? Maybe I'm thinking of a different save room. Anyways. Okay. So yeah, in the NA release of this game, this tile right here used to have a whole giant S on it. Nice voice acting. It was probably horrible. When a person in the class reads out loud. <laughs> what are you trying to say, huh? You know what they say, you roast the ones you love. <laughs> you hatin' bitch, leave me alone! <laughs> My high school English teacher just reads everything himself as part of lecture. And man, he was theatrical. <laughs> the theater. B3F. I'm not saying anything, Christopher. Just making an observation. <laughs> well, keep this to yourself. Gigantoad. Let me pause my game. I think I actually skipped my turn by accident, by pressing X. But tell me what these toads are. Gigant toad. Just for the record, I'm looking at uh, this in the background. Just to get some info on the enemies that I'm fighting. They're in FF2, FF3, FF4, 6. 9, 11, 12, 14, 15, Crystal Chronicles, Mystic Quest, Dimensions 1 and 2, Dissidia, Opera Omnium, Picto, Piclogica, Final Fantasy, Record Keeper, Brave Exvius, wow. <laughs> and uh, there's no etymology. Fuck. Alright, someone needs to give me some Toad Vax. Stat. You got a dip to go on a walk. Chances are you'll be past Fabul by the time I get back. Don't count on it. I've been wasting a lot of time. Just uh, reading out random shit. 
Toad facts or frog facts? Toads! Uh, also, real quick, I'm gonna need you guys to confirm me something. Or rather, confirm something for me. Something concerning the game. Uh, can you see something to the left of me here? I'm curious. There are no roads, only frogs. Toads are not frog water. Do not consume. I'm gonna search up some toad facts myself. Toad facts. For kids. I am a child. Fun toad facts for kids. Toads and frogs are both in the order Anura. Let's uh, go to the bottom. In the wild, most toad species live on average three to five years. They have been recorded living as old as 39 years in captivity. What the fuck? Wait a second, that can't be the case. I thought humans destroyed animals and their habitats and shit. And again, living is suffering. Who would want to live 39 years? I don't even think I'm going to live that long. I don't even have any problems. Yeah, you see a trail. Ah, uh, okay. Apparently, in the original FF4 release uh, from Japan, you aren't supposed to see that. But I guess with this ROM hack, that's a remnant from FF2 US. What a shame. Chris, what comedy are you spewing right now? <laughs> There's some subtext behind this that I'm not approving of. You prefer the visible path. Oh, do ya? How many party members are in this game? A lot. There's somebody for everybody to love. Chris, you will live to a hundred. Shut up. <laughs> Why would an amoeba retreat? That means it's conscious that it's being hurt. Well, I mean, that's a lot of creatures. <laughs> no. Animals can't feel pain? Ugh, ridiculous. <laughs> Skilled. It's a full moon. Everybody's been acting a damn fool this week. Your weird comedy gets a pass, okay? It's close to midnight. Yeah, it is dark outside. Huh. Alright, who can wear this stupid ass hat? Cecil? No, all of his shit is dark. Let's give it to you then. Also, I could probably use my Ice Rod just to attack for free. Wouldn't work on these guys, though. Damn, she's strong. Ooh, what do you guys think of this uh, background here? Like, the floor down there, the... Looking down and seeing the little river inside the cave. I think that looks cool. Our moose. Or red moose, also known as red marshmallow. A marshmallow is a sugar-based confection that, in its modern form, typically consists of sugar, water, and gelatin, which is whipped to a spongy consistency, molded into small cylindrical pieces, and coated with corn starch. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, that's what it says here. As it <laughs> concerns these uh these monsters. I like this one. This one's my favorite. <laughs> he looks so happy. 
<laughs> Parallax is sick. True, true. Oh, what is this red one weak to? Because these guys, uh, they resist normal damage. They possess a weakness to fire elemental. Good to know. These facts. <laughs> And something evil lurking in the dark. Siren's outside. <laughs> He's reading the wiki again. <laughs> After him. Stop being mean to me. You love Gen 4? Cringe. Nice healing items. This game just puts me in an irrationally happy state. I apologize in advance. I love how bright and colorful it is. Okay, does this work? And does it break? Guys, leave him alone. Knowledge is power. True, true. Okay, yeah, that was very weak. Gen 4. <laughs> Yo, can I go and uh, get a little Keck W in the chat? <laughs> I have been roasting you too much this stream. Like, more than usual. I'll stop yucking your yum, promise? That's gross. <laughs> no! I became a toad! My strength and defense has gone down to 1. <laughs> oh, you can get a maiden's kiss. Ooh, can I look at my my little sprite, my walking sprite? Yeah, <laughs> look at the the toad portrait. Mm -hmm. I like how detailed it is. Okay, there it is. Antarctic hits all enemies with ice. Stop raining on your parade. Is that better? Yeah. Seriously, look at that background. The the parallax. Love that. Looks beautiful. Bronze hourglass. Shadow blade. <laughs> what is that heme hope? Bat chest. Okay. The beast in the cave beyond. We should use a tent and rest, just in case. The fog, the frog portrait is even more detailed in one and two GBA. Lol. Okay, I didn't ask though. Imagine how good that looked on a CRT. Maybe. God, look at the the background. The battle background there. There's the mountains, and I think I see like a little lake. Hold on. Can I see it again? Yeah, look at that. Is that a lake? So right now, like we're all fighting on grass. Then there's like a like some water. And then you see like mountains, and the mountains are reflecting off the water. Is that what I'm seeing? Looks pretty. When am I getting my imp summon? No? Okay, I need to see how rare this drop is. Goburin. The recurring humanoid creature. Actually, tell me what a goblin is. A goblin is a small mischievous creature found in many European folktales and legends. The word goblin comes from the Norman French word goblinus. The name of a ghost that haunted the town of Evreux in the 12th century. 
Okay, uh, specifically FF4. What is the drop rate for this summon? I mean, it sucks. <laughs> but I just want to know. What the fuck? Okay. 0.39% chance to drop it. Granted, they come in like four for uh, a group of four. So that's boosted up to like less than a 2% chance. Ugh. <laughs> Goblings. <laughs> so wait, where's the ATB gauge? Oh, let me show you. That'd be a river, probably, not a lake. Um, so the ATB system is here. So you see that right there? The percentages right there? That kind of acts as my ATB gauge. And I think it's because of the ROM hack that I'm playing. It might not have been in, in the original. But you see right there, 25%, 75%. 100, and now Cecil's ready to fight. So yeah, that's pretty much how that works. I don't really need it, though. I can kind of make sense of who goes when without needing to look at the the actual, like, bar or gauges. There are other ROM hacks that give you a bar. It tells you who goes when, though. This isn't one of them, though. Still, though, a 0.39% drop rate. That's crazy. 75. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's my number. The beast is below. Damn, bro, it took like five steps. I'm not fighting these, they're annoying. <laughs> Trying to sing the song here. <gasps> Alligator. I know you're weak to ice. <laughs> they could have done better with these noise channels, IMO. Be quiet. Leave him be. <laughs> Water bug. Ew, why is Tell in the front row? I just realized! Ew, get him out of there! There you go. IMO, Chris, IMO. Copium, copium. You can take your opinion and shove it, brother. <laughs> Ooh, Hades. What can you guys tell me about Hades? Have searched up what an alligator is. Hold on. Alligator is a reoccurring enemy in the series. It appears in Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy IV: The After Years, and in no other games. <laughs> uh, and no etymology. The Final Fantasy wiki does not know what an alligator is. Crocodile. Ooh, the crocodile is an enemy from the original Final Fantasy, FF1. Wow. <laughs> I guess alligators and crocs aren't the same. He's something related to Greek mythology. You forget exactly what he does. He gives you all negative status element elements to the enemy, I believe. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, I don't need to bother with these anymore. Wasting money by running away, but... Ah, who cares? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I have a ring too. Let me put that on. Y no, not you. How about you? There it is. That's what someone at the clubhouse you go to told you. <laughs> clubhouse? M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E -E. That's me! <laughs> okay, here we go. Boss time. Here it comes. It's the Octomom. Wow, four damage? Pathetic. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, I need some info on this boss. Not stat wise, but just <laughs> knowing what it is. Also known as Octo Mammoth. Oh. Etymology. The numeral prefix octo from Latin for the number eight. A mammoth is any species of the extinct genus Mammophus, one of the many genera that make up the order of trunked mammals called proboscidians. Okay, suddenly I know what a mammoth is. <laughs> we don't need to read the rest of that. <laughs> Today, the word mammoth is often used to describe abnormally large animals or objects. Wow. The clubhouse you go to is a place where people with mental illnesses go to learn how to work through work. How to work through work? Is this like uh, something like a... A high school or a university or a college? Uh, why aren't I attacking with magic? It's more like a rehabilitation center. Hmm. Uh, are there cool people there? Good job! It's weakening! The machine's reached its limit! Damn, Cecil, you're strong, man! Mostly young and old people. Meaning not in your age range, is what I'm guessing. Wow. Let's hurry to Damsian. It's past this waterfall. Alright, save my game real quick. Do not use the tent. Some of them are. Okay. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Bystander ambivalence be like. They took the crystal. The attack was brutal. Oh, uh, a famous line is about to appear. Well, if it's still here, I guess we'll have to see. A pot of life's above. I think they're gonna take all of Tella's items in a bit, so let me go and preemptively take all of them off it. All of them off of him. Jeez, I can't speak. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> was that track remastered in the 3D versions? You got a crypto ad. Chris, explain. Uh, well, chat, now's about the time that I admit to you that I bought an ape. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, Kevin. <laughs> Check out the castle after this part. Uh, will do. Hold on, but we're not that big. We only have about 20 members, and we are now opening a drop-in center, which is like a rec center. Okay. You're the bot that did this. Is he gonna say it? Is he gonna say it? You swindler. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Please, listen. <laughs> ah, no, there it is. You spoony bod. Please. 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 <laughs> Silence. I didn't... No, that's, that wasn't the voice I was giving him. I have no range. Shut your mouth. I, I... Please stop. Anna, you're alive. Father, Edward's the Prince of Damsian. He only disguised himself as a bard to visit me in Kaipo. It's how we met. Forgive me for eloping, but I love Edward. We were about to leave to ask your blessing. When Baron's Red <clears throat> When Baron's Red Wings attacked the castle led by Golbez. Who's Golbez? I'm not sure. He was clad in black armor. Why did they siege your kingdom? They were after the fire crystal, and a shield me from their arrows. You love him that much? I do. But I love you too, father. Oh, Edward. I can't do two voices at once, I'm sorry. It's asking too much of me. Who is Golbez? All I know is he's gathering the crystals using the red wings. Enough! Tears won't bring Anna back. Curse you, Golbez. I'm coming to avenge my daughter. <laughs> you can't go alone. Oof. I need no help. This is my own affair. Sage Tella left. Stop it! You're a grown up. I lost my mom and you don't see me crying. Fuck. <laughs> I've always felt kind of weird about this part. I know, I'm just a coward, but I don't care. I'm staying here with Anna. You're not the only one suffering. I'm sure Anna would want you to help those in need. I'm Cecil. I'm looking for a sand pearl to help my ill friend Kaipo. You, you need me? Yes, you. Your friend sounds important. You shouldn't have to lose her. The sand pearl is made from the secretions of an ant lion when it lays its eggs. The nest is across the shoals. You can use the hovercraft to cross them and also return to Kaipo. Whoever said that can go lick mold. I don't know these characters' names. <laughs> Lick mold! Ooh. I remember the lonely Goomba once said on Twitter that <laughs> that he saw uh, some mold that was growing on like his mop that had like teeth. And like en envisioning that is frightening. <laughs> I was about to roast you about not doing two voices, but I remembered my promise. <laughs> 
Shush. All right, Jared, I'll uh, I'll go and search the castle, even though I would have done this anyways. I don't need your help. <laughs> no, but I appreciate it, okay? See, there you go. I'm smart. I can't see. Are you friends? Please, keep the treasure safe. <laughs> nah, I, I appreciate uh, you telling me to go here. I don't mind being, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, backseated. In fact, I'm going to need to be backseated just to find the developer's office, because I've always wanted to visit that place, but I don't know where it is. Ironically, your middle name is Edward. Oh. Hey, Bo. Potion, ether, gold needle, phoenix down, eye drops, antidote. Guided. Yeah. Is there any more I can explore here? The only encounter you had with mold was with bread during lunch a few years ago. It was blue and just starting to grow. I almost read that as a glow. Whoa. Status normalized. <laughs> MP restored. <laughs> Wait, Kevin, do you take issue with uh, with Rydia telling Edward? How do I look at his sprite? With Rydia telling Edward that <laughs> he shouldn't cry because she lost her mom. Oh, no, it's that. That line made me wince. I don't I don't understand the need to, to put that. I guess she's really tough. She's tougher than uh than that sissy over there, yeah. National Roast Chris Day is on Tuesdays, also on Fridays and Thursdays too. They're also on Mondays and sometimes on Wednesdays. Throughout the weekend too. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, I take issue with it. Um, you're not allowed to cope because I don't cope. You don't like what you like. You like what I tell you to like. <laughs> Giga Chad. Dreamer. Plumed. Barred robe. Oh, I can sell a bunch of stuff. In fact, I need to get rid of items just to empty up my inventory. So let me do that. I hate how loud it gets whenever I do that. Golic Mold, Chris. <laughs> I have a run button. I refuse to use it. Did anyone else see that Chris stood before Congress last Friday and explained to them Final Fantasy lore? I don't remember it going down that way. <laughs> Stop skipping, Chris. Leave me be. Okay, Ruby Ring can... Well, no, you can't equip that. How about you? Yeah. 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 Uh, I can sort all my items, right? Yeah. And I can move this if I want to. Wow. You call it Lord. He called it fan fiction, wink wonk. <laughs> Bernie Sanders was infatuated with the FF Lord during, <laughs> during Chris's presentation. Uncle Bernie! <laughs> I took one step! Sandworm. Hold on. Please tell me you have it. No, they don't have it! Wait, Sandworm, FF4. No, no etymology. Fuck! 
Really? Why wouldn't this have, like, a uh, etymology behind it? Hmm. Sandworm. Etymology. Let's just search it on Google. Hmm. Looking at Wikipedia now. Cryptids. Mongolian death worm. <laughs> a cryptid, huh? Oh, this is probably what inspires all this. Because I think every Final Fantasy game has like a sandworm in it. Hmm. Fictional animals. Living animals. Actual sandworms. Okay. So sandworms are real. They're not gigantic, though. I think those are based off of... I guess... Ah. I see. Uh, veer your eyes elsewhere if you don't want to see this. Uh, <laughs> this is what a sandworm, uh, I guess... Well, no. A sandworm from the 2021 film Dune. So I guess Dune was, like, a novel? Okay, yeah. Epic science fiction novel. And they uh, they first appeared in 1965. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and that inspired all the sandworms in Final Fantasy. That's an Alaskan bullworm, Chris. Yeah, sure it is. Have you beaten this before? Yeah, I have. I've beaten this game multiple times. But uh, only now am I just searching up like the origins of these enemies because I'm bored all you see is a black hole you don't you don't see what this is supposed to be Th this is a giant worm this is its mouth with it's like millions of teeth it's a desert come on brah Doom was a novel it got a Sega Genesis game, Chris. Oh. The more you know. Why is my chat so cool? You have one of those in your backyard. <laughs> Can I see it? You feed him beef jerky when he gets hungry. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, Cross. That's a joke. I kindly ask you to wake up. No roasting. You roast the ones you love. Alright, 0.39% chance. Come on, buddy. No, I didn't get it. Basilisk. <laughs> the reoccurring creature. Hmm... The Basilisk is a fictional beast that appeared in medieval bestiaries. <gasps> bestiaries are real? Wow! It is said that a single gaze into their eyes would kill or petrify the observer. It was supposed to appear when a chicken's egg was hatched by a snake or a frog. Hence their reptilian appearance. <laughs> really? Huh. Ah, see, look at that. See, Final Fantasy XV uh, tries to go through the effort of uh, incorporating its more chicken-like features. See, very smart. A what hatched by a what? <laughs> Why so surprised? Heh, <laughs> that's interesting. Didn't know bestiaries were a real life thing. JK Rowling created the Basilisk 75 years ago. She's not that old! <laughs> I'll reread it again. 
uh, or rather the sentence. It was supposed to appear when a chicken's egg was hatched by a snake or a frog, meaning, like, I guess a snake would mistake a chicken's egg for its own. It's fictional, but people believed it in the medieval bestiary. Let's see, what, what's this about? Etymology. List of etymologies by or What the hell? The Final Fantasy Wiki has a list of etymologies. African mythologies. North American mythology. Buddhist. Greek. Hindu. Japanese. Norse. European. Real locations. Real organisms. Huh? Tiger? When does the real ass tiger appear in FF? In any FF games? Killer Tiger is an enemy in Final Fantasy Dimensions. Who the fuck knows what that is? Alright, just a tiger then. An enemy from the original Final Fantasy. Oh. Oh, my bad. I can't roast the original Final Fantasy. It's old. It's like making fun of the elderly. Can't do it. When you hear that, you think a snake hatching a chicken's egg. Well, yeah, that's probably what that what they meant. If you want to play a fun little prank, go to the reptile zoo <laughs> and leave a bunch of chicken eggs to create a bunch of basilics as a joke. I suppose that is a, a creative waste of your time, yeah. <laughs> I remember one of the most horrifying things I saw as a kid was uh, the Magic School Bus episode. Where all the kids turned into reptiles. And then they got like locked up in a freezer or something like that. And they were put into hibernation mode. Something like that. What are these creatures? I think they're called adamantois, right? Adamantois, adam adamant tortoises, something like that. Oh my god! Look at this art! <laughs> Artwork for Final Fantasy 2. Why he look like that? Um, here we go. Adamantois is a portmanteau of adamantite and tortoise. Japanese name for this enemy type, adamantai-mai, is a portmanteau of adamantite and a Japanese word for the hawkbill sea turtle, tai-mai. Uh, it, then it just kind of like repeats itself to okay. What does this real life turtle look like though? Look, there it is. <laughs> That's what I'm fighting right now. Oh, let me get my chat up. I could beat that thing up. <laughs> Cute. Oh, I forgot that my harp can put people to sleep. People. Tortoises aren't people. That's a character from Finding Nemo. True, true. The worst thing you saw as a kid was your literal worst nightmare. <laughs> what is that? What's the deal with Gold Needle? Hold on. I know what it does, but why is it called what it is? <clears throat> the concept for this item could originate from acupuncture, needle therapy. However, the original intent as shown by the early artwork is clearly a sewing needle rather than an acupuncture needle. Gold-plated needles intended for cloth are reputed to have a smooth glide both through the cloth and when threading, which may be intended as a mean of piercing the stone. Sure. I feel like I've heard somewhere that, like, diamond can be used to, like, cut through, like, various other materials. You genuinely think touching sea turtles is illegal because they're endangered or something like that? No joke. <laughs> Needles. Can you kill someone if with, like, faulty acupuncture? Real talk. <laughs> You're thinking of Minecraft, Chris. Oh. 
almost certainly. Leshy? Hold on. I think that thing is called Siren. But uh, we'll still type in Leshy. No, it's called Leshy. Or Leshy. Also known as Weeper. Leshy or Leshy was a Slavonic trickster spirit that roamed forest and made travelers lose their sense of direction and protected wild animals in the woods. It also has a wife! I can't pronounce his name. Leshachika and children the Leshanki. Do I want to look up artwork of this thing? Whoa. Alright, let's not... <laughs> let me not show it zoomed up, but uh... Here you go. Do some research on Lashana instead. I think that's how you correctly spell it. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Bro's a Yeti. Kinda. It just says he's a spirit, though. Let's see, what are his powers? The Leshy is masculine and humanoid in shape. Well, the one in this game isn't. What are you talking about? Hold on. I'm gonna need to re-encounter it. Where is it? There it is. Actually, no, this is pretty androgynous. You can't really tell. Who am I to determine what is masculine and what ain't? You think they could eat humans? Nah. Can I escape? Yes, I can. <laughs> Lashana. <laughs> you think you told me about it the time where you dream or dreamt a volcano popped out of your neighbor's backyard? Why would that happen? Based Chris. <laughs> okay. Uh, should I explain Edward's gimmick? Let me see if I can kill these guys easily, though. Okay, yeah. So, uh, Edward's harps. In most cases, they have uh, some special properties to them. Sometimes it can inflict certain status ailments. Uh, he can also use Sing, which I'm, I'm not sure if that's based off of the harp he's using. But uh, it, it does, it creates like a certain effect. Charming Melody, I would imagine that confuses him? I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Charming... Well, I'm not even on the right site. Charming Melody. Bar well, Bard Song. Let's search that up and... See what we can find there. Uh, I think. Yeah, that was supposed to be alluring air, and it says confused enemies. Maybe these guys just can't get confused. Destroying gender norms of one step at a time. Based Chris Banger. Received a message from God after Ramadan, so your mom told you. Huh. Boys like Transformers and fucking love the color blue. Girls like the color pink, Chris. That's how law works. I am a gender studies major. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Leave me alone. Do you guys want to see a real picture of an antlion, considering we're in an antlion's cave? A merg exit. <laughs> Boys like Transformers, they like to transition. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Ant Lion. Oh. Wait, what? Is, do they have they always looked like that? Or am I thinking of something else? Ugh. Okay, no, I think there are just many different types of ant lions. Uh, hopefully this doesn't freak you out. No, what am I kidding? It'll definitely freak you out. <laughs> I'm not sure. Look, go and search up what an ant lion looks like if you want to know. But uh, they come in all different shapes and sizes. But uh, this one, the the boss that we're gonna face, seems to be based off of the ant lions that like hide in the sand and go and pick something that like sinks into its hole. I could have phrased that better, yeah. That's the enemy from Half-Life. That's Half-Life himself. Gordon Freeman. Oh my. Yo, I have 30 potions? I'm rich. Okay, here we go. Bot, no? I guess not. Come on. Use another potion. This is the ant lion's nest. Eek! It's okay. Ant lions are quite tame. Now get the pet now to get sand pearl. I've always loved that little spin jump. The Mario World spin jump. <laughs> Uh, this sprite looks disturbing. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, so I believe it counterattacks if I hit it with a physical attack? Yeah, it seems to be the case. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Ceasing Samba. So is that like the stop spell? Okay, instead of having it counter me, let's try and do dark. <laughs> yeah, this game ripped off Mario. That looks like Bowser. <laughs> Alright, let's use Salve. Salve was not in the NA release. Ooh, they actually buffed it here, too! Okay! They made Edward viable in this game. So I believe what Salve does is that it uses up a potion from your your inventory and shares it uh, to like everyone in battle so that you don't have to heal one by one. But yeah, unfortunately that ability was taken out from the US release. I don't think any of those songs are working. You know what? I'll just attack you normally. In fact... Okay, I'm losing. <laughs> don't die! Okay, I'm fine. Let's defend real quick. Get a quick salve in. Okay, there we go. Hideous, yeah. I mean, it still kind of retains that look in the 3D version. There's an antlion boss in FF9, much less goofy. Damn, bro, die already! Okay, there we go. I didn't even mean to attack with Cecil. Chris, did you hear that Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland were all cast as Bowser in the Mario movie? They'll be wearing a CGI suit sitting on, on each other's shoulders. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, Source? It can't be. Why did the antlion attack? Tame creatures are becoming more aggressive lately. Something is afoot. 
Let's go cure Rosa! Oh, well, luckily for me, I don't have to go through this dungeon no more. I think Bowen might be onto something when he said that I'll be in Fabul by the time he comes back. Well, no, we still got like a one dungeon to go. Sudden tonal shift, lol. How so? I gotta say, this playthrough has been going on quite swimmingly. How are we by... Or with time, rather. Level 15? Really? We've only leveled up Cecil five times, because he started out at level 10. Hmm. Five times in like two and a half hours. No matter. Still doing quite a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that. Damn, lady, move. Okay. Shall green. Those are for the fat chocobo, where you can store items. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Is this from someone important? Color verified. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna mute myself. You guys are little trolls, huh? Come on. <laughs> uh, th that was a, a little phone call about, uh, well, related to when I got COVID a little while back. Something like, oh, are, are you feeling any symptoms now? Like, nah. It's like the health department, like in my city. 
<laughs> we got your IP, Chris. This guy. <laughs> Sponge happy. <laughs> I thought that was from work, but no, it wasn't. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. My fucking car wasn't working. <laughs> So I didn't even go to work on, on Friday and Saturday. I could have totally streamed on those days, but I didn't. <laughs> Leave me alone! I don't know why I was going up there. I was supposed to go and get Rydia. Not Rydia, Rosa. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the music from the game. Did your car get COVID? Something like that. Here you go. Sand Pearl. Was it too cold to start up? I think it was a combination of that and the fact that there was something internally wrong with my car. For context, however, I completely forgot to mention this the last time I streamed. But uh, after I got tested for COVID, <laughs> uh, and, you know, I came back positive, uh, when I went to go and get that test, and I was trying to park my car, so, uh, the front part of my car accidentally, like, crashed into... You know how when you park, there's, like, this, like, concrete thing on the floor that, like, it's supposed to stop you from going any further? The front... The bottom part of, like, the front part of my car, like, scraped on that. And as a result, like, the complete front part of my car fell off. And I had to, like, refit it manually on my own. <laughs> and, you know, bystanders was just kind of, like, uh, staring at me while it was happening. I don't know why I completely forgot to mention this. Uh, but, uh, no, I, I think I did a pretty decent job at fixing that the way it, it was supposed to. But, uh, I think maybe that had something to do with my, my car. It was making some strange noises, uh... A few days later. So yeah. <laughs> Chris, this level looks too much like Pokey Park, Pikachu's adventure for the Wii. The people who made this fame frame game are ripoff artists. So yeah, uh, I had to shove like nearly four hundred bucks to fix something with my car. So, uh, I mean, now it's sounding fine, but I couldn't drive for, like, two days. 2019. You need any help? 2022. Just keep walking. <laughs> they said you died in the earthquake at Mist. I never believed them for a minute. So I set out after you. I'm sorry I worried you. By the way, Rosa, who's Golbez? The king invited him to lead the Red Wings in your absence, but his majesty is no longer the man he was. It seems that he's Golbez's puppet. In his crusade for the crystals, the water crystal of Mysidia is already in his hands. Next are the other three, Damsian's fire, Fabul's wind, and Troya's earth. Kevin! What can you tell me about the four elements? The fire crystal is already lost. Please, allow me. This is Edward, Prince of Damsian. Thanks to him, we were able to cure you. And this is Rydia of Mist. Hi there, are you feeling better? Yes, thanks to you both. So Damsian was already attacked. Then Fabul is next. We must... <coughs> Rosa, you rest here. We'll go to Fabul. We must scale Mount Hobbs to get to Fabul, but the trail is blocked by thick ice. Rydia, can you cast fire? No, I can't. As a summoner, this is most basic blast. This most basic black magic should be simple for you. <laughs> Rosa, please save your strength. I'm fine. I won't be a burden. I'm a white wizard after all. You learned a few days ago that in the theme song for both The Last Airbender and Korra, they say the four elements out of order. Out of order? As opposed to the correct order? Rosa only wishes to be with you, Cecil. Okay, Rosa. We'll go together. But the hour grows late. At least get enough rest tonight. 
I will. Thank you, Cecil. Wow, he's just like me. Later that night. Anna, I miss you. <laughs> that noise. Ah! The Avatar cycle follows the four seasons, each tied to an element. Huh. Avatar cycle. Be brave, my love. Uh, Anna! You are strong. Believe in yourself. Toot toot tonic warrior, toot symphonic warrior. I'll try. You get an attribute after this fight in the DS version. True. <laughs> Anna, I must leave now, Edward, to go on to a better place. Don't leave me, Anna. Be brave, Edward. Golbez cannot be allowed to get the crystals. You loved me. Now share that love with all of the world. Oh, did my head headphones hit the mic again? Anna, my love, I will try. But what would you have me do? Stop! <laughs> Stop notifying me of shit that I'm not gonna get to experience. Let's go! Or as the Japanese say, Ikuzo! Alright, so now we have Rosa. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What magic do you have? Cure, hold, Libra, slow, sight. Cure, basic healing spell. Hold, it paralyzes enemies for a bit. Some enemies. Libra shows us HP and weaknesses. Slow, slows enemies down, meaning that they can't attack as much. And sight, just allows us to see on the world map. I think Rydia shares some spells. Yeah, some. Oh, you have a warp spell! I didn't know that. Emotional moment ruined by stupid notification. <laughs> I remember trying to get Flair to play this game, and he, like, got it on his, uh... on his phone. The GBA version. This was, like, some ten years back, though. Alright, what's everyone's favorite element? Actually, Legend of Korra says it out of order, kinda. They seem to highlight the native element of the Avatar last. Wind? High. High yourself. Mm -hmm. oh, I love this song. Never mind. <laughs> Cast fire, Rydia. Rydia, you can do it. Air. <laughs> no, I hate fire. It's because mist was destroyed by fire when... Listen, Rydia. Only you can melt this ice. If we can't get to Fabul, more people will die. Please, be brave. She has to become a firebender. You can relate to that, right, Kevin? <laughs> so in the last airbender, air is said to be last, and in Legend of Korra, water is said to be last. Are they lying? 
Rydia, please. Please, Rydia. Fire! Ooh, with accuracy. Just light a match, OMG. Bro, stop hating. You're not supposed to tear down other women. Wonderful! Yay! <laughs> okay, I need a, a bit less enthusiasm. Thank you, Rydia. Yo, catch me doing the orange justice or the orange crush to this song. <laughs> I love, love this. Uh, I think I should have Edward in background. Why is he in the front? Oh, this formation looks weird. Orange Crush. OMG, you had it right the first time. I'm sorry! Matches don't exist in this universe. Dumbass. LOL. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, I need to be playing a Cecil because he looks cool. Gargoyle. Let's search up some uh, info on them. Gargoyle. Garfield. <laughs> Etymology. Gargoyles were initially ordinary stone statues built on rooftops to let rainwater above flow down to the ground through certain paths. The statues were usually carved as monsters and strange creatures, which later spawned the belief that gargoyles are the guardians of the buildings they live in. Oh. And uh, how about these birds? Cocktrees. What do you mean, enemy from Final Fantasy 2? It's... I mean, am, are, am I not looking at it here? Hold on. So this place is called Mount Hobbs. We can take a look at... at what enemies... Oh, God. Don't do that. Yeah, we can take a look at what other enemies are here and get the correct name. Chris, did you hear that Bernie Sanders did a spaghetti stream last Tuesday? He would never. Uh, enemies, let's see. Uh, no one... Yeah, I am looking at cockatrice here. The cockatrice is a creature from mythology. It is similar to the basilisk in appearance and ability, but also possesses flight. A cockatrice is born from an egg hatched by a rooster and incubated by a toad, and its gaze caused instant petrification. Interesting. <laughs> Doctor Disrespect. Anywho, the Avatar cycle is the natural cycle the Avatar follows. Water, earth, fire, wind. So after Aang's death, the next element in the cycle, water, is Korra's native element. Ah. So, Roku was fire? And then Kiyoshi was either earth or water. Can you guys believe that, though? It was incubated by a rooster, but hatched by a, a toad, I think it said. Ain't that interesting. Uh-oh. Ouch. I didn't think you would have that. <laughs> Ew. Why are his eyes like that? It looks like he's like wearing contact lenses. Roku was fire and Kyoshi was earth and redacted. Oh. Uh, nothing over there. 
Dun, 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 dun. Uh, nope. Did someone die? Nearly. We have a healer. Save here. I used to listen to this song while hiking. Ooh, a spirit. <laughs> Google, what is a spirit? Well, not Google. The word spirit derives from Latin spiritus. Breath has many meanings, most relating to a non-corporeal substance contrasted with the material body. The word is often used metaphysically to refer to the consciousness or personality. The notions of a person's spirit and soul may overlap, as both are understood as surviving the bodily death in religion and occultism. Spirits can also have the sense of ghost, i.e. a manifestation of a deceased person. The term may also refer to any incorporeal or immaterial being, such as demons or deities. Lucky guy gets to go anywhere. <laughs> well, I mean, I would trek uh, back home from university. And it was like an, a one hour long walk. See, so, yeah, I, I consider those to be like my little hikes. At least this one has color. <laughs> Are you knocking the Game Boy ones because they don't have color? Allow it, man. Oh, those guys heal with fire. They're weak to fire! <laughs> what were you battling? <laughs> yeah, I used to hike. Walks to Rite Aid. I've never even seen a Rite Aid. Bruh. My damage output kind of sucks. Ooh, Toad. <laughs> Your inner demons and goblins and other cool stuff like that. <laughs> what the f- 126 gil?! All I did was run away from some skeletons! I'm gonna go get some free healing. I got ripped off. <laughs> IRL picture of Chris. You got that right. Rip, never been to Rite Aid. I mean, I would assume it's similar to like a CVS and a Walgreens. <laughs> never ate a, a cream horn. Joe, what's your favorite cryptid? I need to know, where do hovercrafts come from? <laughs> Hovercraft. Some writing in one right now. Uh, no, no etymology for hovercraft? Am I gonna have to Google this? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Hovercraft. A hovercraft, also known as an air cushion vehicle or ACV, is an amphibious craft capable of traveling over land, water, mud, ice, and other surfaces. Hmm. I think when most people say hovercraft, they mean like uh, a vehicle that like... It, it's like flying right off the ground, but it doesn't go very high up. But uh, in the more literal sense, like in like real world hovercrafts, they just kind of like... slide. <laughs> They slide against uh, most surfaces. Actually, there was a Jackie Chan movie that had a hovercraft. It would like run into people and shit. He, I think he broke his leg on one. 
The hoverboard never hovered. True. You own a hovercraft. You like to fly around LA on the weekends, dressed as a goblin. Mothman. <laughs> Alright, let me look at Mothman then. Whoa. In West Virginia folklore, the Mothman is a humanoid creature reportedly seen in the Point Pleasant area from November 15th, 1966 to December 15th, 1967. A whole year? That's it? <laughs> Other names. Winged Man and Birdman. You guys want to look at him? There you go. <laughs> there's a, I like how there's a, a size to scale. He's <laughs> slightly taller than the average man. Festival and statues. It's first annual a uh, Mothman Festival in 2002. Huh. The Mothman's festival began after brainstorming creative ways for people to visit Point Pleasant. Oh, well, that's cute. According to the event organizer, the average attendance for the Mothman is an estimated 10 to 12,000 people a year. That's way too much. America Doobie Board. Is it cold in NJ? You want to go there tomorrow. Um, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't go out much. Also, Mothman just wants lamp. What sound do you think he makes? It was also in Fallout 4. Oh. Huh. <laughs> there were a whole bunch of other, like, see also terms here, I see. Whoa. Hold on. Look at that. Bogeyman. Or boogeyman? Used by adults to frighten children. So I'm guessing that's just boogeyman. I didn't think that's how it was spelled. Wow. Spooky. <laughs> you don't go out much. Yeah, stupid of me to ask the man who literally lives in his room. <laughs> Holy! Is that 10? Yeah, it is, okay. Chris, when is ChrisCon happening? Where we all go out to your house and we file your taxes. God, I wish. For free? <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, no, I might have problems with this. This always gives me trouble. A monk! A knife! I don't believe I control this just yet. Dumavoy. Okay. Where does that name come from? You can't just give me a strange-ass name like that and expect me not to search it up. The Dumavoy is a house spirit in Slavic folklore. They are seen as guardians of the home, living under doors or the stove, and sometimes help with household chores in exchange for food. Oh, they're harmless! For the most part, they are peaceful and helpful, but if displeased by the family, possibly by their neglect of their home, it will torment them in a manner similar to a poltergeist. Oh, well, it is a spirit. Okay. You know that there was a Flatwoods monster as a boss in Space Harrier 2. Space Harrier 2 has a bunch of freaky creatures in it. Chris, did you ever have, or did you have ever like you was kind of even have like you to be like was you ever among us? Yeah. Mom bomb. All right. I know it's going to transform in a bit, but let me just get some info. What? Final Fantasy 12? Ew, it looks ugly there. Uh, no etymology? No. How about the normal bomb? Mm 
Where is it? Oh, here we go. Anything? No? Oh, here we go. A bomb is an explosive weapon that uses exothermic reaction of an explosive material to provide an extremely sudden and violent release of energy. You get that? Chris, I saw you jogging around the other day. <laughs> right. Oh, wait a second. Let's use strategy for once. Ugh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Quick! Wait, I, I used the wrong thing. Chris, what's wrong with you, man? Focus. Salve. Uh, I meant bronze. I don't think it worked. Fuck. I have a bunch of potions to waste. Might as well salve them all. God, that's so overpowered. In the original release, it only healed like, what, 10, 20? Nothing. In this, though, they uh, definitely buffed it up. Very nice change. Mm -hmm. 50 miles per hour. That wasn't me, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, aim. Why aren't I doing that? Let's try Chocobo. Oh. <laughs> Chris, stop the nerdy talk. You're scaring off the hose. Good! <laughs> it's got a boo! <laughs> Why was it in all caps? Ah, oh, it's awesome. <laughs> Explode. Oh, I forgot to salve. Who lives? Everyone? Yeah, actually. But I should have salved. Charm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I know these guys are about to start exploding, though. Yeah, that's a little scary. Kick. Ooh, nice. Salve. Is that really how it's pronounced? Salve? Where where does that word even come from? Like the Red Cross Salvation thing army place? <laughs> in, Jap in Japanese, it's known as kusuri, which means medicine. Also known as balm, heal, and medicine. Okay. Etymology. A salve is a medical ointment used to soothe the head or other body surface. Salivate? Nah. Chalk kick. I could have sworn these guys were supposed to explode, like individually. Also, since I summoned a chocobo, I might as well search up what that's based off of. I'm learning so much! Etymology. The name chocobo derives from the Japanese brand of chocolate malt ball by Morinaga Chocobal. Ch Chocoboru. The mascot for this product is Kyoro-chan, a bird who says quay. Okay, so it's based off of a, a Japanese brand of chocolate. Yeah, okay. Salve DN? What does DN mean? Chris, when you pass away at the age of 15, can we, as your fans... <laughs> as your fans... Mummify you. Sure. You love those commercials? <gasps> I forgot to show the commercials for these Final Fantasy games. Fuck! I've done a really bad job as a content creator recently. 
These nuts? Fuck no, you got me. Nah, bruh. Thank you. I am Yang, the high monk of Fabul. We were training when they attacked. We're on our way to Fabul. Golbez is using Baron to get crystals. That means they're after the wind crystal as well. Assuredly so. Damsian has already been raided. Fabul is helpless. Only students remain in the castle. Golbez must have sent those monsters to distract you while they assault Fabul. They'll arrive any minute. I'm grateful. However, this matter does not concern you. But it does. For I am the Prince of Damsian. Cecil and I were citizens of Baron, and this girl was one of many victims of her kingdom's recent attacks, of which I personally led. You have your own reasons, I see. Would you aid us? Of course! Uh, Fabul is east of this mountain. Let's go! This music sucks, boo. I love this song. Leave it be. <laughs> you could beat a chuckaboo to death if it had come to it. I would hate to do it, but if my hand was forced, yeah. I would have to beat it to death. I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I, I get you. <laughs> okay, we're we're out. So yeah, this is uh, how many people you can have in a single party. Wow, five people. Impressive. You hope I die in an area where I didn't save. I literally just saved. <laughs> Whoa, I confused a bird with a bird. This game rocks. Oh, that's so tragic. Oh, it was confused, so it petrified itself. No, wait a second. How? If the origins of that bird was that staring into its gaze would petrify anyone, how the fuck would it stare at itself? I don't know. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. I'm sorry. Wait a second, I should see if Domovoy drops anything cool. Let me see. Domovoy. <laughs> also known as the Imp Cap. Oh, Imp Captain, I see. You think it's a Medusa type beat? Domovoys do not drop the Goblin Summon. Gee, thanks! Ooh, let's try the Toad Spell. I've never tried it on anyone. Are you serious? These are basic ass enemies and it doesn't work on them? That sucks. Perish. You serve no purpose! Ceasing Samba. Okay, so that shows that it works. It's like uh, Final Fantasy V. If you don't see the animation for it, then it that means it didn't work. Chris, do you use safe states IRL? Do you speed up IRL? No, I don't have that. No! I need to find information on those guys. You watched Up for the first time. Did you cry? 
Hold on. I need to find that uh, needle rat enemy. I think that's what they're called in like other games. There you go. Gatlinger. I heard of a Gatlinger gun. Or Gatling gun. There you go. But Gatlinger. Or Gatling. Okay. The Gatling hog, also known as Gatlinger, Needler, or Gatlinger. <laughs> okay. Repetitive. Uh, is an enemy in the Final Fantasy series. First appeared in 4. Wait a second, no. A variant of this appeared in in FF3. Anyways, the Gatling gun is one of the best known early rapid fire weapons and a forerunner to the modern machine gun. Can I see this? Whoa. Actually, Splatoon has a Gatling gun or something to that effect. Yeah, it's like one of those guns that shoots, like, really fast. Wait, what does this have to do with this enemy? Does it do the same thing to the spikes? Um, named after Richard Gatling. It doesn't tell me anything about how it relates to the enemy itself. See also, Needlehog from Final Fantasy IV. So that was the other one. It's a portmanteau of Needle and Hedgehog. You don't say. Chris, show gun. <sighs> alright, alright. There, are you happy? Look at that. From 1876. <laughs> no, I didn't cry at the first 15 minutes of Up. I guess I'm a psychopath. <laughs> Lamau, you're weak, lol. <laughs> Storing power. Get his ass. Wait, don't you counter? No, I guess not. <laughs> yee yee, brother. Second Amendment rights, brother. <laughs> Kekona. I love him. He's a streamer, right? I love his uh, happy, smiley face. You've seen sadder moments in Avatar. Lamau, no cap. Yeah, okay. Sir Yang, welcome back. I wonder if these, like, town names have any etymology behind them. Etymology, etymology. Probably not, right? Behind the scenes. No, I didn't say anything. Damn. Damn you, vile woman. Damn you. <laughs> I love little Stewie Griffin. He makes me laugh my socks off. Wow, look at this. Kona is a conservative as well. Another reason he's used when quoting conservatives or imitating conservatives. <laughs> Ratatouille is still your favorite movie out of all the Pixar movies you missed. What? Have you seen Ratatouille? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll buy some of these. Why is this old lady <laughs> selling weapons? You think Hassan debated Keikona once before COVID hit? Debated. <laughs> Jebated. All you know about Ratatouille is that Eggman is in it. Yeah. No, I totally uh, noticed Mike Pollock's voice in it. And I remember on Twitter, he's like, look, I don't know what jobs I get. <laughs> I just get offered something. They give, they tell me what I'm going to get paid, and I accept it, and I try my best. Like that's. I remember him saying something like that. Hmm. I'm going to buy Thunder. Why not? Thunder. He's in everything. True, true. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> rat <-a> towing <laughs> uh, Am I healed? No, but I can't heal. What are the items like? Mm, nothing different. What was that other video of Brinkado one? The one that had a... Uh... Well, it was based <laughs> kind of off of Kung Fu Panda. Oh, the little panda fighter. Hold on. I need to switch this up. Yeah, the 2008 film, the classic. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I used to be an animation buff, and by that I mean I used to be a aware of a lot of shitty animation, and not really so much much good animation. He has a very distinct voice. He did the narration for the GBA video commercials, and it's so obviously him. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Have I? Well, no, this would have, like, copyrighted content, but I could still at the very least play the audio, probably, right? Let's lower the game audio for a bit. <laughs> All grown up. Hold on. Oh my god! That's scary. <laughs> Soap. TV shows on the go, yeah. Yeah, it's him. It's got TV shows too. With GBA video, the shows are right in the cartridges. <laughs> One video it's so distracting. Episodes with full color and sound. So you can watch your favorite shows whenever you want, <laughs> wherever you want. Whoa, it's TV without the TV. Whoa! TV shows on the go. TV shows on <laughs> Fairly the go. odd parent Sonic X. TMNT. Pokemon. I remember a friend of mine brought one of those uh, to high school. He had the SpongeBob one. And it was with the bubble stand one, I think. Okay. Damn, Mike Pollock voice fits the ad well. I guess. Kevin, do you think you would beat Mike Pollock in a roast off? Oh yeah, naming way. High school? Did he get bullied and laughed at? No. <laughs> Cause he was one of the cooler kids. Well he was he was the funny kid, so yeah, he wasn't gonna get made Well he he was gonna get laughed at, but he probably would have wanted that anyways. But also he was cool with a lot of people, so everyone just found it uh as cool. He brought his old GBA SP. Hi, honey. Sheila, this is Cecil. He saved my life. Thanks. <laughs> okay. I can't roast him. I don't know anything about him. <laughs> roast him about the one voice he does. I heard you were ambushed at Mount Hobbs. Are you okay, sir? Oh, let me check for items. Nope. I'm, I'm meditating. Oh yeah, guys, look at this prank. Wanna see me dance? No. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> ah! Yeah! Hiya! Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Wait, in the first episode of Spongebob, was it? No, it was the one with the squeaky boots. Spongebob was, like, dancing with them and making noises with them. And he was talking to Squidward. And I remember he was like, Hey, pretty cool, huh? That's my favorite fucking Spongebob quote. I love that shit. <laughs> that, that was peak Spongebob. He, he never reached those highs ever again. That's from four... He's from four kids. They all have that problem. Dan Green is the worst case of it, though. Dan Green. I need to search this up. Dan 
green for kids. Who did you voice? Uh, Yugi? Is that it? Well, let me see from series I remember. I completely forgot about Gogo Go Riki. But I didn't even watch much of that. Uh, some characters in TMNT 2003. Viva Pinata. I remember watching that a bit. Winx Club. I remember the girl who had a crush on me really liked Winx Club. Uh, this was back in, like, elementary school. Elementary middle school. Uh, <laughs> Ratatouing. <laughs> Wait, Pancada? Is that, uh... Was that the main character in Little Panda Fighter? Is that what I'm saying? Dubbing roles, okay. So, Yugimoto, or Muto. Uh, Entei? He did Mewtwo in the 2020 Mewtwo Strikes Back movie. No, I only recognize this guy from... Oh, Knuckles, okay. So he voiced Knuckles and Yugi. Okay, so yeah, two different voices. Apparently Wispy Woods and Kirby right back at you, but I never watched that show. Hmm. Let's see, in video games... Oh, he voiced Knuckles in uh, Shadow 06. Rivals. Yeah, just a bunch of Sonic games. All the way up until Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Huh. Neat. You want to roast me so bad right now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what did I do slash say? <laughs> Stalling. I'm reading up on what you're telling me. It's important, right? Alright, I need to go out and save before I uh, get into some trouble. Damn, that was fast. Yank, you've returned. Your Majesty, the Kingdom of Baron will soon mobilize their air force to seize the Wind Crystal. A man named Golbez is behind this. These heroic souls came to warn us. And they are? Your Majesty, with all due respect, we've no time for this. Castle's defenses must be tightened at once. But you're one of Baron's Dark Knights. Why should I trust you? They came to my aid when I was attacked. Please trust us. <laughs> Stalling. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot to update the, the thing here on the stream layout. God, it's taking me this long to notice. There you go. <laughs> That, uh, strange-looking C doesn't pop out right. <laughs> Everyone has their right to their opinion, and little things in life to like, I get it. But the pretty cool Han line? Really, my guy? Yeah. Hey, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what? What's wrong with that line? It's cool. Let me search it up real quick. Hey, pretty cool, huh? This has to be clipped. It's not. Fuck! Really? It's so iconic! I know it was in some... Some Spongebob commercial. From 99. Spongebob has an evil brother in GTA 5. Scary. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, where is... It's not here. This. Yeah, there you go. That's my favorite quote from Spongebob. It's not iconic, you were just strangely abnormal- No, it's cool! It's cool, I promise it's cool, what the fuck? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> He's cool! Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I love that shit. You guys remember to heal that, right? Chris, check this out, this is so good. <sighs> Ugh. 
<laughs> what is this? <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> Who's laughing? That's scary. <laughs> Thank you for that, Bo. I appreciate it. It's good to see you again, Your Highness. Oh, Prince Edward. How fares Dampsian? It has fallen. The fire crystal is ours no more. I lost my mother, my father, even my beloved, Anna. Would you let Fabul suffer the same fate? I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. Will you help us defend our crystal? Yas. Chris, that's you laughing, silly. No, it's not. <laughs> They're all outstanding combatants. I request they join me at the front lines. Very well. I'll leave the battle in your hands. I'm sorry, Chris. But no, just no. You are a B word. That's not the female dog. <laughs> no roasting. <laughs> and you're a little hater. Stop. Stop. Fuck off. Come on, man. Very well. I leave the battle in your hands. Might you two ladies kindly give assistance to our healers? Certainly. <laughs> Let's prepare. Cecil! Take care. You too, Rydia. Uh, keep Rosa safe for me. <laughs> you are a B word. That's not the female dog. So you mean beta. <laughs> <laughs> You're being mean. Here they come. Have at them. You are very based, Chris. Oh, yeah, that is what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, when you go to bed, I hope the bed bugs bite. No. <gasps> did I just take no damage? I'm skilled. Actually, I think I did. Never mind. Pog, Pog, but based as well. Alright, I getcha. I wonder how far into the game I am. Like, is this appropriate for three and a half hours? I've definitely wasted a lot of time. Let's waste some more, just by seeing how far we are. Final Fantasy 2. Yes, Ness. Let's see. According to this, uh, long play, playthrough, we are two hours in, but we've been streaming for about three and a half hours. Oh. Close to where you're at right now. Really? I got here in one stream, man. How? Man, just freaking do this! <laughs> oh yeah, Edward's hiding because he's low on HP. Geez, still? Skip bad. What do you mean bad? I'm skilled. <laughs> too bad Edward can't help me he heal, because he's like too busy hiding. <laughs> so 
so impatient. It's because I know it's gonna happen. So yeah, we fought like five groups of monsters there. It's been a while, Cecil. Kane, you're alive! You'll fight then? Indeed. But Cecil, my fight is with you. Kane? Let's duel, Cecil. Draw your sword. Kane! Oof. What happened? <laughs> Goodbye, Cecil. Ow! Why is he so fast? It's broken. You're one of Golbez's. I'll put you out of your misery. Stop! Oh, I was wondering who was screaming now. Rosa. Kane, why? Don't look at me. <laughs> why do you hesitate, Kane? Oh god, I gotta do like an even deeper voice. Why do you hesitate? Why? There you go. Golbez! So, you are Golbez. And you are Cecil. So we finally meet. I have something for you. Cecil! No! Ha! That's enough. Take the crystal. Yes, sir. <laughs> Going crazy. <laughs> the little organ in the background. No, Kane! Rosa, don't! Oh, you care for this one, do you? Then let me take her along as well. <laughs> the DS version with this is it's kind of funny because he, he like uses his little cape. Golbez uses his cape and he like he somehow takes her. He like hides her under his cape, but she like disappears. It's weird. Maybe she like teleports into like a, a jail cell or something. To hold and trust that we will meet again. Come, Kane. Your life is spared for now, Cecil. Good, calm down, Chris. People might actually see it was weird. <laughs> you, I bet his. Rosa. Cure! Thanks, Rydia. But Rosa was taken. And the crystal. Rosa. Come on, Rose is alright, and we can take back the crystal too. That's right. It's time to repay my debt. Let us heal our wounds and come up with a strategy. Thank you. Is there a room back here? No, it's not like the one in Mycidia. Uh, heal? No, Hermes. Okay. The king was wounded. He's resting in his room. I should have water for these. Ugh, my throat might be getting a little sore. Ooh! Silk web. Ether. Demon shield. Alright, uh, king is... In the left pillar, I think. <laughs> he 
<laughs> I just love the speed up. We need to take action, but rest for now. Oh, okay. So go to the inn. You must all be worn out. Or rather, you all must be worn out. Please rest here. We must rescue Rosa. But we need an airship. Baron is the only place that has them. Can we sneak in? Baron's main power is the Red Wings, but its naval force is relatively weak. We should be able to slip in by boat. Then I'll ask the king for a ship in the morning. That Dragoon. Who was he? Kane. He used to be my best friend. We'd sworn to fight Baron together. I see. Anyway, let's get some rest for now. <laughs> I see. Yang. Go with them. We owe Cecil much. A ship will be arranged soon. Cecil, take this blade. The Dark Knight left it here a long ago. But remember, a dark sword will never truly conquer evil. Ooh. Go to the harbor to the east once you're ready. The ship's waiting. If Golbez acquires all the crystals, the world will face an unprecedented crisis. Ah ha ha! Hold on, there's a little ROM hack by the name of Unprecedented Crisis. Which, uh, I remember playing a few months back. And I found it to be a little underwhelming. The premise behind it was, like, at some point in the game, like, I think at, around this part where I'm at right now, the events of the game change and the game unfolds a bit differently. But most of the major story be beats still happen. It's just that, like, you skip certain boss fights or you might do certain dungeons earlier than others. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I was expecting something a bit more full-scale with that, but I just found it to be a little underwhelming. But yeah, the name of that ROM hack was Unprecedented Crisis. So uh, that was pretty neat, because when that line is said, that's pretty much when uh, that game starts to change. Finally, I can get out of this horrible place. Hate that music. Save game. 303. So I've spent 30 minutes not playing this? What? I guess I did spend a little bit of time talking before I started playing. Take care, honey. Fight well. I will. You all too. Of course. Take care. Don't worry. You're Cecil, eh? I've heard a lot about you. Relax. We'll be in Baron before you know it. Let's sail. Anchors away! Aye, Captain! I wonder if there have ever been any Hispanic pirates. I completely forgot that this boat had a horn. Oh no, the percussion isn't playing anymore because we're uh, on the sea. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if this would be a spoiler, but... Like, nah, I will mention it. What's the plan after we reach Baron? Let's find Sid. He's an airship expert. I hope he's okay. Are you cold? You're shivering. I'm fine. Yeah, this song's really weird not to hear with percussion. Mm -hmm. 
What's that? That whirlpool is really big in uh, comparison to the boat. Impossible. It's him. The Lord of the Seas. The Kraken. No, it's not. It's Leviathan. Yeah. Ew, why does he look like that? <laughs> he looks so malnourished. Give him a hamburger. <laughs> that one captain with his, like, blonde hair. His beard and his hair. He kind of looks like a bird. Don't stand about, ye weightless dogs. Reef the sails. Rydia! No! Ah! Edward! Attack the ball! Attack the ball! <laughs> How? Well, I guess we don't really know how this happened. Uh, maybe Leviathan, like, literally, like, brought us here. I don't know. But, uh, if... <laughs> I, I was asking how because if, like, the ship was attacked and was destroyed and... Like, he, he wouldn't be able to just float. Have his, have his body float in the sea and just land in the... Well, on the sand here, right? I, I can't imagine that being a thing. Bodies would sink if they're dead weight. Uh, where am I? Rydia! Edward! <laughs> I... <laughs> so this name, Yang, Yang, in the DS version it's pronounced Yang, but I've never gotten used to it. But, uh, sure I'll call him that, Yang. Yang! You're bored. Do something funny, comedy guy. I'm doing something funny. I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm playing a game. Guess I'm alone. This is a really large beach. And then, boom, green. <laughs> I like this theme because it's a remix of the overworld theme. Just gonna go and check my phone real quick. We found 13 apps you haven't used in a while. Removing them would give you 1,147 megabytes of storage space. Oh yeah? Tell me which ones. Tw <laughs> Not Twitter. <laughs> you want me to delete Twitter? <laughs> Hold on. Wait, you're... You told me that there were some... Oh, here we go. Least used. So, Google Keep Notes and Lists. Well, I don't need that. I have a, a memo app. Yeah, delete that shit. Uh, YouTube Studio. Yeah, I guess. I never log on to that. Google News. 123 megabytes for that? Delete that shit. Oh, my NES emulator on my phone? Nine megabytes is nothing. Zoom? <laughs> Hell yeah, delete that. I was told to install Zoom for my old job. To uh, conduct meetings with clients. Uh, that ne never fell through. Why is everyone lurking? Leave them be. 8100 gil. Alright, what do you got here? Uh, crossbow, holy... Let me not refer to that. <laughs> That's spoilers. Okay. 
Elemental rods and a healing staff. Leave! Okay, so yeah, these guys recognize me because I literally stole their crystal. Eek! The Dark Knight of Baron! Yeah, go and hop away. The Devil's Road is so named because it saps the stamina of its travelers. Really? Huh. Never knew about that. You! Take this! Toad! Hey Marv, have you ever played this game? Boom, 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 boom. It's sad that humans hurt each other. Yeah, I'm just a, a toad. This is the Devil's Road leading the Baron. It's sealed now to prevent any further raids. Wait a second, so we didn't need to fly here. Originally, because we, we could have just used this Serpent's Road. Considering it just like teleports you there. Ooh, plot hole. Uh, cottage. You've only known the lore of this game. You've never played it yet. Really? You should play it. It's fun. I'm playing a ROM hack of this because the original North American release was, like, made super easy. And it also has a very shitty uh, translation. All throughout the stream, by the way, I've been searching up the the origins of all the enemies that pop up. And it's been quite fun. Get out of here. I ain't afraid of you. Monster, release our people. I only have like two of them. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Here, have a drink on me. Ugh. That was poison. Now die, Dark Knight. These guys are mean. <laughs> Psych. Go and heal that shit off. <laughs> Watch me dance. That was a real yawn, by the way. Oh, thought you had more to say. <laughs> okay, this is the end. Anyone else? Nope. Oh, what did this flyer say? Never forgive or forget Baron's raid. Good on you. You shouldn't. I'm evil. 200? You should charge me more. I literally destroyed this place. Well, no, I didn't. I just stole something. <laughs> Better than arson. Let's go. Ikzo. Do you realize how much we've suffered because of you? No. But how does you... How do you losing your crystal affect me in any way? You've got some gall to return. What does gall mean? Does gall mean balls? <laughs> Bold and impudent behavior. Okay. House of Prayer. Ooh. How do innocent babies grow up to be evil men? My first healing spell, aw. Water, fire, earth, and wind, four elements. I believe Aang can save the world. Alder may forgive you, but I can't. This is the house of prayer. You're that dark knight from before. Why have you returned? I am Cecil, former captain of the Red Wings. Before, I did not have the courage to defy the king. Apologies won't bring back those who've already died. But I now see a light in you that I did not see before. I will hear your words. I seek to stop a man named Golbez, who now controls Baron. I set out to rescue a friend whom he holds captive when Leviathan struck our ship. 
I don't know what hap what became of my companions. Perhaps this is part of the test or game for you. As long as you rely on your dark sword, you will never defeat true evil. It will only darken your soul. If you wish to fight with purity, then go to Mount Ordeals to the east. It's there destiny lies. But my friend, she's in danger. She means much to you, but don't be hasty. You were destined a great fate. You must climb Mount Ordeals to exchange your dark sword for a sacred one. Then, you'll become a holy knight. A paladin. However, many have sought to overcome Mount Ordeals, yet none have returned. Will you try? Yes. Good. But it will be hard with your dark sword alone. I'll send some mages with you. Palum, Porum! You called for us? Where's Palum? Palum, get out of here. Not get out of here, just get out here. So, you're that Baron dude, huh? Be grateful I got to help you. These two? These are Palum and Porum. Despite their ages, they're quite gifted mages. You're lucky the mighty Palum will, will help you. Palum, behave. Oh my gosh. My eyes are just skipping ahead. Nice to meet you, Sir Cecil. Question mark. Come on, Palum, you too. In order to master the Avatar state, you must open all the chakras. I don't give a shit, but... but. <laughs> Sup, dude. Black Mage Palum and White Mage Porum joined. Did you know that these kids are like five years old? Go to Mount Ordeals. Palum, Porum, you know your task. Yeah, look at them. Uh, what magic do you have? Cure, hold, leave a slow sight. Fire, blizzard, thunder, sleep, poison. Alright. <laughs> Kevin, do you want to talk about Avatar right now? Right at this instant. There is no war. Yes, there is. Uh, how many kids do I have? Five. Not bad. Oh, I need to equip that death sword. In Ba Sing Se. <laughs> yes, there is. Stop lying. I don't know why I'm singing this. I hate this song. I'll keep those arrows there, just in case. Fidel is still strumming. He should be done soon, and you know my recap is going to be long and complex. Sure. <laughs> Alright, I gotcha. Okay, can this kill in one hit? Ooh, a lot of damage. You got a Starbucks gift card. Do I want the code? Uh, I've never gone to Starbucks. That's not true. I've gone to Starbucks before, but I've never ordered from there. I'm not a coffee guy. I live off of water and juice. What is zoo? Zoo. Zoo means fire in Sumerian language. Anzu, before misread as zoo, is a lesser divinity or monster in several Mesopotamian religions. He was conceived by the pure waters of the Apsu in the wide, and the white earth, or as son of Cirrus. Anzu was seen as a massive bird who can breathe fire and water, although Ansu is alternately seen as a lion-headed eagle, like a reverse griffin. Hmm. I mean, it, it just seems like it's a fucked up bird. <laughs> What's going on with its neck? Mm -hmm. 
does Twin cast waste MP? Oh, hey, I was right. He passed for Bool. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> There's multiple Sumerian legends. I guess. Damn. This thing has like 900 HP, though. Way too much. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. Death status. Ooh, I think that wasted like 20 MP. Yeah, I'm gonna refrain from using that. Interesting that both Zuko and Azuka, Azula, have Zu in their name, and both Firebenders. Hmm. Yeah. Kazuya. Mishima. Okay, I gotta go and restore my MP. Man, this game's easy. Okay, so let me go to White Choke Bow. And does that restore all MP? Seems so. Can't believe the corrupt officials of Bossing Se are really gaslighting people. <laughs> Let me check something. Da, 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 da. Oh, no, I don't think you can. I know there's certain ROM hacks where you can go up there with the chocobo and reach the the village with like the mini and pig people. Cross, what were your your thoughts on Zuko screaming at lightning? <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I would totally do that myself. If I thought I could get powers. Bo, you like this theme? I think it's kind of cringe. Why does White Mage have more HP than Black Mage? This isn't right. Oh, she has higher vitality. What does vitality mean in real world? Do I have high vitality? The state of being strong and active energy. Yeah, that's pretty much me. The other chocobo theme in this game is better. You think it's the racing theme? Oh, you mean the the black chocobo, the one that flies and only lands in forests. Mount Ordeals. Uh, let me save. I should probably grind a bit with these guys, though. Maybe to like 15. Apparently Cry, uh, it makes it so that it's easier to steal items from enemies. What a strange ability. No one knows what it was originally intended to do. He was screaming as a form of symbolism, Cross. He wanted lightning to hit him so he could redirect it, wishing he could do the same with other matters in life. Yeah, I guess I do do that as well. In DS, Cry weakens enemies. Yeah, it lowers defense. But it doesn't do the same here. Ooh, these guys do a lot of damage. Enduring Soul, leave me alone. Does that kill? No, it doesn't. I'm gonna need you to heal. Yeah, that was a little rough. Lazara. Pig. Raves. Chris is an otaku? Hell no. <laughs> I don't like anime. Or, well, it's not something that I identify with. It's something that I just so happen to watch. Because it relates to something that I like. 
like the Pokemon enemy or Dragon Quest. Mm -hmm. Total Hermit. <laughs> you get Block Soul. <laughs> I'm not a hermit. I go out sometimes. I haven't gone out much because uh, I was sick with COVID last week. Or, well, two weeks ago, really. Chris identifies as a non-otaku. I'm not someone who would go search out anime on my own. Like, I usually wouldn't. I'm not the type of fellow who would be like, Oh, what's the latest anime that's, uh, you know, in the charts? <laughs> what's the latest anime that everyone's talking about? New Ursae is better than... Better have City Pop OP or it's not worth it. Yeah, I guess. I'll watch that. But just out of interest for it uh, being something that I watched before. So, in other words, I wouldn't watch an anime just because I know it's a good anime. I would watch an anime if it's significant to me in a, a certain way. It's hard to explain. Pelham! Elder taught us not to submit to arrogance. Shall we? <laughs> yes, but actually no. Meanwhile... <gasps> they uncensored the, the guillotine. <laughs> the guillotine that's over Rose's head. The, uh, in FF2 US, that used to be a giant ball that was supposed to crush her. Come, Skarmiglione. Or Skarmiglione. <clears throat> Come, Skarmiglione. Smar Skarmiglione of Earth, at your service. Cecil aspires to become a paladin. We must clip his wings now. You are wise to call me, sir. His dark sword is useless against my undead army. We shall dispose of him. Very well. Chris, just become a weeb, I swear to fucking god. But there's a bunch of western media that I have to watch. <laughs> this reminds me. I saw a tweet yesterday that was like, Oh, who's someone in media that you first identified with? <laughs> and I chose Crash Bandicoot. But I was looking at what everybody else was choosing, and it was all a bunch of anime characters. Is that really what my generation is like? Fuck. <laughs> Four Fiends battle theme soon. True, true. Also, hold on. Let me mute myself. I gotta go get some water. I'll be back in a bit. Alrighty, I'm back. <clears throat> There's a scale of normie that can be determined by a level of online presence. <laughs> Are you calling me a normie? Look, I was very close to becoming a weeb. Or someone who was like, 
very much into anime. But, unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't have very many friends. So, my line of thinking was, well, why the fuck am I going to watch anime if I don't have anyone to talk about it with? I'm just going to watch whatever the fuck I want. So that's really where that philosophy came from. I don't only watch anime. That's not, like, what I specialize in. I just observe and like to study many different types of media. Things have grown interesting, haven't they, Kane? Yes, but you'd best not underestimate Cecil's strength. I understand you respect your former friend, but Scarmiglione will take care of him. Sc Stop saying his name! Is one of the four fiends. He will not fail. Don't you agree, Rosa? I should be the one to slay him, not Scarmiglione. After that pathetic display you gave before? No, your place is here, guarding Rosa. Yes, sir. Cecil. <laughs> Bruh, you have literally 90% of Bowen's chat to talk anime with. I was talking like five years ago, like, not even five years ago. <laughs> That's 2017. I'm talking like 10 years ago. Like, back when I was in high school, I was very close to getting into anime, but again, I decided against it, because I'd be- I was like, why limit myself when I, I don't have a friend group that fits that certain niche? Nowadays, I just play catch-up with uh, many different types of media. That's really what, what defines my adult ears, and I'm never going to be done. Sword Rat. <laughs> what a name! Half your friends in high school were bigger weebs than you. I think a lot of the weebs uh, that I recognized in high school just didn't want to associate with me. Probably because I was too weird. But the weird that I was was like... <laughs> if I ever... If you ever see me have fun, at least back then, I would get very loud. <laughs> I wasn't meek in if you like got me in a good mood because obviously I, I mean I don't care at that point but uh no I get very boisterous should you make a chiptune song if you want was anime as popular in 2012 sure <laughs> why wouldn't it be Ninety-nine, eighty-nine, Gil. Very cool. Oh yeah, I should do some more grinding here. Woo! Kill these guys easily with fire. Anime started popping off in 2012, according to who? By 2013, it was mainstream, according to who? I didn't think we had actual years behind this. Wait a second, how is my sword dealing damage to these skeletons? I have a death sword. These guys are already dead. The kayfabe doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm getting killed by gimmicks! Chris, react to every episode of Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, and Boruto now! <laughs> no. Wait a second, red bones? This is an enemy in a uh, thousand year door. Whoa! Remember Attack on Titan? How it was inescapable? 2013? I'd heard about it, but... Eh. Yes, the only times where anime was underground was when it was introduced to America, but apparently the Akira movie in the 80s is what showed American audiences that. I mean... <clears throat> hmm... Me and Flair have been friends for a while, and he's definitely, like, the main anime guy. But I never really divulged into anime, despite uh, being friends with him for so long. Partly because my attitude behind it was like, Oh, okay, so if, if I ever needed to know anything about anime, then uh, I can confide in Flair. 
I don't really need to watch it because Flair can kind of direct me into something cool. And he can tell me about it. <laughs> now, some would think that that would incentivize me to actually watch it. But it was more of a case of like, I don't need this knowledge. I have a friend who has this knowledge. He can help me out. I don't necessarily have to share it. He can share it if he wants to. You hate the word limit on streams, girl. Flair put respect on Full Metal Alchemist. He's a real one. Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Who died? Oh! Uh... I have three of these. You better not die. You need your spirit stat to go up as well. Hello, Cross. Hello, Free. <laughs> Obviously, as you know, I'm not weirded out by anime much. <laughs> I've seen a lot. I am tolerant of very much. Mm, anime are cartoons and can be violent and be for mature audiences. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I should watch more cartoons in general. But I just like to keep my interests kind of varied. <gasps> a Lilith! Let's search it up. Let's also search up red bones while we're at it. That has to come from something. The red bones means bloody bones. <laughs> I see no woman in this building. <laughs> what an asshole. Okay, just... Oh, blood bones. That, that's what they are. Our bone. Wait a second. Blood bone. Like blood born. In Western folklore, bloody bones is a boogeyman figure feared by children and is sometimes called rawhead. Tommy rawhead. Or rawhead and bloody bones. With or without the hyphens. <laughs> huh. A boogeyman. A boogeyman. <laughs> There's several. And skeletons. What is a skeleton? A skeleton is a type of physically manifested undead often found in fantasy, gothic, and horror fiction and mythical art. Most are human skeletons, but they can also be from any creature or race found on Earth or in the fantasy world. <laughs> and uh, Lilith. Not there, don't search it there. Once again, I am searching from the Final Fantasy Wiki. Look, there's Palum and there's Porum. Lilith is believed to have originated as a female Mesopotamian storm demon. <laughs> what a mouthful. Associated with wind. She was thought to be a bearer of disease, illness, and death. The figure first appeared in a class of wind and storm spirits, or spirits as Lilithu in Sumer, circa 4000 BC. The phonetic name Lilith is thought to have originated in ancient Israel, and to have predated at least 700 BC. In Jewish folklore, Lilith is the name of Adam's first wife. Not Eve? Oh. Interesting. <laughs> That's paralysis. I need to heal. Please kill someone. Ah. Chris, what do you think of Star Wars Visions? I don't know anything about Star Wars. Your relationship with Flair reminds me of how one of my friends using me as an informant about things regarding to Danganronpa, even though I hate the Danganronpa fans. Bro, you actually watch that? No, you actually play that game? <laughs> I'm sure Danganronpa is a series somewhere. <gasps> Why? Why did you die? I'm running out of Phoenix Downs, man. <sighs> Figures. I think I'm gonna run away. That enemy group is tough. I'm wasting time. 
Quit your stalling. You watched that video too, Lamel. <laughs> Do you Ken Kokichi? <laughs> I just think you have the funny voice. You know, you can appreciate things about something you don't know anything about. You watched the anime in 2013, so you were spoiled on the entire first game. You don't forget? You should. I forget a lot. <laughs> That's probably why I enjoy games so much. Because then I get to replay them again and again. And, uh, remember why I liked it the first time. Star Wars Visions is just Disney giving a bunch of anime studios the IP to make non-canon episodes. Anime studios? Different plot every episode. Huh. No, I have the Curse of Retainment. That's horrible. The single targeting fire kill. Yes, it does. Okay. Hmm, let's try darkness. The darkness affects Kyrie. We gotta save her. <laughs> Ooh, there you go, Fyra. <clears throat> Ooh, protect. So the protect spell was not in uh, FF2 US. They took it out. But uh, they restored it here in this ROM hack. Very nice. Oh my god, please play Kingdom Hearts at the end of this marathon. <sighs> I, look, I wasn't I wasn't planning on doing that. It would be so funny. Say something funny now! You forgot to use the emote. I'm not gonna do it no more. I find it fucked up how that spirit isn't weak to fire. <laughs> Not that emote. <laughs> Be funny now! There you go, you used the right one. Um, well, you can't force funny, so uh, you just gotta be patient, and eventually I'll say something, alright? <laughs> you know, very few people have acknowledged me as being funny in real life. <laughs> it's quite sad. <laughs> Saying that. No, it's a uh, copium, Chris. <laughs> they lie half the time, anyways. No, I, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, if I laugh, nobody else laughs. All right. But if I do something unintentionally funny, suddenly it's the, it's the best thing ever. Fuck you. I'm funny, okay? <laughs> Vegeta mauled? Hell yeah, brother. That's me. Look at that. Cecil's 17 years old. Proud of that boy. Insta-kill? What's the percentage chance on that? Hold on. So, Death Sword. Death Sickle? Hmm. Instant Death. Okay. The Deathbringer. There you go. That's what it was called. Uh, the strongest Dark Sword and has a chance to instantly KO some enemies. But it KOs that giant bird 
a hundred percent of the time. Uh, this weapon is metallic. <laughs> okay, KO. No, no, no. Hmm. It has an attack of 30 and accuracy of 40. But it says that it has a chance. But that's not the case. It does it all the time. It's not a chance. It's with 100% certainty, I guess. Only if that guy... Or if the enemy isn't... Uh susceptible to it. Or is susceptible to it. Ah, I can't speak. Let me give you a hug, Chris. It's okay. You're funny, my based bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've just learned to cope, alright? I'm joking on something. Hold on. I'll be right back with you in a second. Oh, God. Alright, my bad. My real voice came out for a second. Uh... <laughs> Stop laughing at me. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Be funny now! You serve all purpose. Spongebob? <laughs> Stop! Spongebob's funny. No hugs for Chris. <laughs> you make brownies out of Doritos? What? You make brownies out of Doritos? What? <laughs> you stupid bitch, you make brownies out of Doritos? That's the funniest shit. <laughs> I hate Doritos, actually. I, ha I haven't had them in a long time, but the main reason why is because I don't like them. Same thing with Fritos. SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, Mr. Krabs, Squidward, Plankton. <laughs> Wait a second. All of those names have have two syllables in them. Except for Mr. Krabs. But shit! Wow! Frito Lay still on your shit list. <laughs> right, of course. But I mean just in like the taste, in the flavor. Uh, I haven't really enjoyed uh, those chips at all. Whereas the British say the crisps. Is there any Latino food you actually like? Uh. There's like some Asian Hispanic fusion type cuisine uh, known as chifa. Well, it's mainly Chinese and Peruvian. Uh, and they make some banger ass uh, fried rice. So I enjoy that. Let's go out and heal. I also don't like nachos. The only chips I like... Uh, probably Pringles. That's it. Oh, I got Kira. Nice. We got one more level 4 in my two mages and we'll be good. They're like McDonald's nuggets. You can't eat it without the sauce. No, I'm not keen on uh, dipping chips into anything. Not even ketchup. Chris, did you know if you type do a barrel into Google, it destroys your hard drive? <laughs> you know what I miss? The I'm feeling lucky button. I haven't done that in a long time. In fact...
Uh, all I gotta do is type Google into Google Chrome, right? <laughs> yeah, search Google. Uh, here we go. Uh, do a barrel roll. And then I'm feeling lucky. Whoa, you're right! It's a, a Google Easter egg. Look at this. Do it 20 times. <laughs> oh, it actually broke. You, you didn't see it. <laughs> that boy Hen be dropping facts. No, I'm pretty sure it installed 78 gigabytes of malware into your PC. Uh, so, if you were on a stranded island with only tortilla chips, cheese, and an uh, a microwave with electricity, would you still not eat the nachos? I would eat the cheese. And it depends what the cheese is like. If it's in like a, a way where you like have to dip stuff into cheese, I wouldn't. But, but if it's like a block of mozzarella cheese, hell yeah, brother, I'd eat that. <gasps> Preemptive. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. That's not true. <laughs> Wait a second. Why is there a picture of Thanos up here? <laughs> Thanos snap. Google Easter egg. Whoa! Let's check out... <laughs> what could this possibly do? <laughs> Let's get back to the game. <laughs> Herder.com. Herder. Wow, another preemptive strike? They must love me. <laughs> Chris is the biggest MCU fan. He slits his wrist when Iron Man died in Endgame. I didn't. Come on. I would never do that. I don't love Iron Man that much. Did these guys reach 15 already? Uh, no. You know, you gotta set some goals to yourself to, uh, <laughs> reach the very top. If you wanna be in Bezos' position, you gotta... You gotta meet your daily goal. So I'm trying to get these two kids to level 15. Okay, very nice. Chris just killed half the human population. That was an accident. snaps his fingers and every mom in existence comes to his aid. <laughs> Maybe. Giddy up. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa. Palum has more HP than Porum? How did this happen? Eight vitality. Eight vitality. How did that happen? How do you overtake her? It's freaky. Little do people know that Jeff Bezos runs a secret YouTube channel where he makes Ben 10 AMVs, and that's where he- that's- hold on, that has to be real. Ben 10 AMV. <laughs> Hell yeah. 
I love you too. <laughs> Bebo! <laughs> I remember Ben 10. I remember being 10 years old and being super into Ben 10. <laughs> I remember my best friend at the time really wanted to be uh, Kevin 11. <laughs> I remember when he told me about Kevin Eleven. He was like, yo, Chris, so in Ben 10, there's this kid named Kevin Eleven. I'm like, no, it's not your line to me. He's like, no, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> an envy of me, I'm not like the others, Nightcore. I would make that. Go and meet Grandpa up here. No, I could kill those guys with fire. Tella, Cecil, do you seek Medio as well? You know about Medio? That means you're that old sage Tella, right? Palum, show some respect. It's an honor to meet you. We were ordered by the Elder to spy on... Ahem. As I was saying, we're guiding Sir Cecil up Mount Ordeals. I'm Porum, and I'm Palum. So you're Sage Tella. You're really famous in Mesidia. Ooh, a celeb. Mesidian children, eh? Cecil, what happened to Edward and Rydia? We were attacked by a Leviathan on our way to Baron. They died? I'm afraid so. And my friend Rosa was captured by Golbez. Friend? I think he means girlfriend. Shh. I cannot defeat Golbez with my magic. I've been hunting for the sealed spell Medio ever since we parted ways. I felt a strange power from this mountain, and here I am. Medio is too dangerous for you. You're too old, uh, oops. Yes, I'm, I'm old, but I will make Golbez pay, even if it costs me my life. How no bell? Why do adults gotta be so pig-headed? Stop hating. Well, you're not growing up anytime soon. Now hush. Why did you come here, Cecil? To become a paladin. I cannot defeat Golbez with a dark sword. I have longed to renounce this hateful thing. Who's Golbez? Don't you know anything? He's the man controlling Baron. Just called Tella a hog. <laughs> yes, he is the root of all this evil. So, you've come here to become a paladin. Then this mountain must hold some secret, just as I suspected. I shall join you. Dum -dum -ba -dum 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 -dum. <laughs> <laughs> Bowen, do you remember what the pig spell does? Ugh. I had to hiccup. In fact, do I have it? Yeah, I do. Do you remember what the status does, rather? <laughs> Alright, let me read what you guys have been saying. You stopped believing in Santa Claus when you saw a Kevin Eleven doll in Wong. And you wished for it for Christmas and didn't end up getting it because you didn't tell your parents and only told Santa. That makes sense. Chris X Among Us Krongus? True. Chris, did you write all this dialogue yourself? It's really good. Thanks, brother. It's like Toad, but different. Uh, it allows you to do normal damage, but you can't cast spells. And I think it gets rid of your defense. In fact, we can search this up. The pig status, I believe it only ever appeared in this game, and it probably its sequel. But let me check. No, it's in 14, actually. And in Dissidia. As a card. Okay. The pig status disables the following commands. Summon, darkness, recall, aim, focus, kick, brace, twin cast, bluff, 
Cry, Analyze, and Regen. It also disables all magic, including enemy magic other than the Pig Spell. White magic users can still cast Essena, but only outside of battle. However, it will allow the last command of a character to be executed. Pig does not wear off under KO or Stone, and in 3D versions, it cannot coexist with Toad and Mini. Some residents of Mithril are Pig. Oh, well, we need to read that. Uh, yeah, it just disables some commands. Oh, so it doesn't do anything to your defense. It just makes you not able to do certain things. Okay. There is no etymology for pig, so I don't know what the creature actually is, unfortunately. You can search it up, though. <laughs> pig etymology. Etymology. My bad. Middle English, probably from the first element of Old English, pick bread, acorn, literally pig bread, i.e. pig, or food for pigs. Oh. An omnivorous, domesticated, hoofed mammal with sparse, bristly hair and a flat snout for rooting in the soil, kept for its meat. It's really cool how uh, Google acts as a Pokédex sometimes. <laughs> Station 7. Who named these? Whoa. Uh, okay. Fyra. And then we're just gonna attack. Uh, Soul? Yeah. One is Ghoul and the other is. What's it called? I can't see. Revenant. What is a Revenant? Aside from. An apparition of sorts. Revenants are animated corpse or ghosts in Western folklore that are said to return from the dead to terrorize the living. The word revenant is French. Uh, revenir, to return, and means one who returns. Is there anything that that's like different? That differentiates it from a zombie? Because it seems like this undead thing has a purpose. It returns, supposedly. Maybe zombies don't have a purpose. They just happen. Cool. Damn, you feel like you, you're in an RPG when you hear Google explain simple shit. <laughs> it's cool though, right? Uh, did I not cast Fyra with Palum? Hmm. How mysterious. Let me do it again. Okay, good. Come on, Palum. There you go. Bo, have you ever played uh, Gargoyle's Quest on Game Boy? I believe it's a prequel to Demon Crest. Actually, yeah, that was the first one, and then there was Gargoyle's Quest 2 on NES, and then came Demon Crest, which is unfortunately very short. I just wanted to go to the left and check if I got what was there. I did, okay. <laughs> Search up pig parkour on YouTube. It's a video of 80 plus pigs doing parkour on the rooftops of Chicago skyscrapers, and they're really good at it. He played its sequel on NES, which is fantastic, not the original. I thought the original was pretty good. Hiss, hiss. Palum? It's not me. Boy, that kid, that five-year-old kid really sounded like an adult, huh? Four and a half hours? Ooh. 
Oh, the notification for a late night live stream it says here Dave knows wrestling is live. <laughs> I haven't watched that guy's content and I've been subbed to him for like four years. No, probably like six. Yeah. I've never even watched that guy's stuff. I only subscribe to him just <laughs> because the guy who told me to, to watch him told me to sub to him. Whatever. I'll I'll fill up his sub count. <laughs> Chris starting drama with other streamers? Yeah. Here he is! Also, let me search up how to pronounce Scarmiglione. <laughs> I need to know! Oh no. I say Scarmiglione. They name him Mylon in FF2. Yeah, I remember that. Scar Mylon, Silent G and Silent E. Scar Miglione. Mm. There has to be a cutscene that pronounces his name. No, I don't. I don't think so. Oh well. That'll forever remain a mystery, I guess. <laughs> MMA fighter? Double J with the double M-A gimmick. An evil presence draws near. Such pleasure I will take in slaying you all. Who's there? <laughs> For Fiend's theme time, yeah. Well, actually, I don't think it plays at first. I am Golbez's fiend of... I was about to say friend. Fiend of Earth. Scarmiglione. My undead children shall feast upon your flesh. Yes, yeah, normal boss team first. Let's slow everyone down, if we can. Do a little fire. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, nice. And then Tella will clean him up. Rip him apart. Very nice. I'm gonna heal Cecil. I remember Flair used to call him Cecile. <laughs> ah, you're right. I forgot Bo. Ah, hold on. Scar Miglione. Let me get some info on him. Scar Miglione is a demon in the Inferno of Dante's Divine Comedy. <gasps> Really? He is one of the 13 Male Branche, or Male Branch, evil claws who guard Bolgia 5 of the 8th Circle of Hell. Male Bolg, Vulgar, and Quarrelsome, their duty is to force the corrupt politicians to stay under the surface of a boiling lake of pitch. His name means troublemaker. See, there you go. Uh, and then they renamed him Mylon <laughs> in the original NA release. Mylon was likely an attempt to compress the character's name coherently into fewer than eight letters, as the SNES version had an eight-character limit for enemy names. Mylon was likely derived from the last three kana syllables of the character's name in Japanese, with the E being dropped. Yeah, you guys noticed that? Look at his name there. The letters for his name are a lot smaller than the letters for our names there. They had to do that just so they, they can fit it. Interesting. Skullnint. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hold your horses. Etymology. Ghasts are a race of creatures in H.P. Lovecraft's Dreamlands. Okay, so I guess these are called ghasts? Yeah, okay. That's it. <laughs> the Skullnint is also known as a ghast. And a ghast, uh, 
Yeah, I guess it's based off that. Their name in English is a portmanteau of Skull and Revenant. Ah, uh, okay. Lol, small letter. Lion! Lion! <laughs> I love DJ Khaled. Okay, Kira, Porum. Don't kill her, please! Uh, he's going kind of crazy. Okay, he needs healing. Not you, not anymore. Ooh! Good attack! HP you got? <laughs> I love Scrimiglione's little hands. Why are they so small? Heal mm, yourself. Ah, my body. Can I go back to heal? Yes, I can. Okay, I guess I might as well fight this as well. Oh, I can kill those guys at the end. What? How are you still alive? Let's try this. Nice. And we got some levels, okay. Have I game over yet? I don't think I have. Will it happen? Ooh, a little challenge for uh, this series. Go. Yes! Well done! But my true strength lies in death, and with it, I'll drag you all to the abyss. Okay, one neat thing that FF4 does have regarding its row system is that all I have to do is change one person's position in a row and it like flips everyone, like this. Aw, come on. Ooh. Yeah. That's one good thing about it. Oh, you're weak to fire. Goodbye. This thing looks horrifying in 3D. Oh. I don't remember what it looked like. Really? Ugh. There's a music video of this theme uh, on YouTube, I remember. Inhale my zombie gas. Did that do anything? <laughs> that didn't do anything. Good job. Hayadine did one, yeah. Let's try and recall. Maybe it'll come in clutch. Never mind. <laughs> I 
I hate how he has hands for feet. You bricked here for like two days. What? You mean you got stuck at that boss? <laughs> is it just that the SNES version is easier? I guess. How? How could I be beaten by the likes of you? Ah! What is the chemical compound for zombie gas, TM? Uh, N-A-C-L. <laughs> My torn ACL. My son. Son, who are you? Damn straight, son. <laughs> I've been waiting. It fills me with sorrow, but I will grant you my power. And grieve that no... And grieve that no other way remains. He doesn't just poison you, he also blinds and slows in DS. Oh, how unfortunate. It's a rough fucking fight, honestly. <laughs> Hold on, I need to see what that zombie gas does then. Well, let me let this play out until text appears. Pa-pow! Here you go. There's a Paladin Cecil with his purple hair. I love it. Part from your past. Conquer the darkness within. If you can't overcome your past self, the sacred light will reject you. There's two of them! What's going on? Sir Cecil! Cecil! Dude! <laughs> Look out! This is my own fight. To amend my past, I must defeat him. Justice is not the only right in this world. Someday you will see. Oh, Cecil. <laughs> Guess who matched fight during this as an 11-year-old? <laughs> well done. Now my spirit will become the power of light and will be entrusted to you. <laughs> Why can't I win? <laughs> Receive the last of my light, my son. Stop Golbez. But please wait. Oh, it's a party in here. Cecil became a paladin. You want to play FF4 so badly now. <laughs> Go ahead and do it then. I'm guessing you're emulating it, the DS version. Are you okay? So, you were serious about... Shh. What's this feeling? It's so familiar. That voice. Oh! Tella? <laughs> Zam! <laughs> all of my spells. I remember them all. Tella recalled all of his forgotten spells. What a coinky dink. This is... Meteo? That light bestowed upon me the forbidden black magic. Dun, 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 dun. No, you own the DS version. Oh. He is indeed a great sage. Hey, pour him. I love this song. Sir Cecil, to tell you the truth, we... Okay, I'm ready now. Let's go get the Wilbez. I gave him like a, a little British accent before, but I can't go into it now. What are you doing? Cecil, we must go. Yes. That light said, my son. 
Wait a sec. Let's be on our way, Sir Cecil. You know the ROM hack that teaches uh, Palum Medio and Porum Holy? That's neat. Uh, do I have an exit spell? No, I don't. Do you have warp? Wait a second. I do have an exit spell. T Tell has everything. But will it get me out of here? No. You're free from Fidel. You got caught up in a Sonic 06 NPC tier list. The NPCs in 06 are hilarious. <laughs> Why do you sound like Walter White when you read that text? I'm trying to do the old man voice, but uh, I haven't spent much time around old people. Yeah, now nah, I'm playing this right now. The urge <laughs> to play it is too strong. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> You're telling me I can't catch up to that long play with my run speed? And with me, like, speeding up like this? Come on. Don't forget Cecil's level 1. True, true. Uh, It probably would be beneficial for me to grind there. Feed him easy kills. <sighs> Tiny mage! Ah! I remember these guys being assholes. But tell me about the tiny mage, huh? Uh, no etymology. It can be dangerous because it can counter all physical attacks with hold and all spells with osmos. What the f- Why? I'm running away from this shit. Hahaha. <laughs> Oh, I, I know why the timer is going up here. It's because I've been speeding up every so now and then. Okay, we're gonna skip your turn. Level 1 Cecil still has, like, pretty decent defense, though. Cool. He's at level 5 now. Barely gained any HP, probably because his vitality is very low. Somewhat. There's an NPC in Sonic 06 that's a ghost that can only be seen by Silver who died in a traffic accident on his way to a plane tournament. What is a plane tournament, if I may ask? Whoa. R slash Nintendo Switch. Suggested. Top post. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is voted the best video game of all time by IGN. Well, that's just wrong. <laughs> I take issue with that. <laughs> the game never elaborated. Well, shoot. <laughs> Wait, you can download Balloon Tower Defense 3? I thought that was like a Flash-only game. Well, I do have some Flash games downloaded. Never mind. I should not drop Gil for running away from a preemptive strike fight. Actually robbed. Somebody call the police! I got robbed! Fucking irate gamer. You have 15 hours in this game and you're just around the section. What? Really? <laughs> Aw, come on. Let's, uh, not grind anymore. I'm gonna go back to town. When am I going to hit a wall? I think it usually happens at the, the waterway in Baron, which is pretty soon. 
Also, maybe the Yong fight. You know what? I think maybe the DS version is just kind of slow, if I'm being honest. Maybe its performance just does not match up to the SNES's standards. Maybe everything new is actually worse than everything old. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to, uh, Elder. Tower of Zot? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Oh my word! Or maybe the Dark Elf beforehand? Maybe. Well, there you have it. I was pretty surprised too. What do you mean? I'll admit it. Their true task was to keep an eye on you. They're fucking five years old. What are they gonna do? They have magic, yeah, I guess, but they were only at like level 10. They only had like first tier magic. L lowest level tier magic. I could have just beat it with my fists. That's the reason we accompanied you. Sorry we didn't tell you. No. You were well within your rights, after all you've done. Actually, no. The Elder noted that there was something different about Cecil, so... Maybe he had enough faith in them. I guess. But you overcame your past. You're now a paladin. Ah, where'd you get that sword? I received it upon the mountaintop. It's engraved with the Mycidian legend. <gasps> Can I read it? Wow. It's just like Earthbound. One born from a dragon's mouth, hoisting both light and darkness, rises high up in the sky over. The land still. There's still land. Chris had one job. Veiling the moon in the light of eternity, he brings a promise to Mother Earth with bounty and mercy. To be honest, you've seen so many memes of Breaking Bad that it's going to be hard to watch it once you actually get into it. I think I'll watch it just because uh, James Roth did. And that'll be the only reason. I need to watch it and then watch his review of it and just see what my thoughts are compared to his. That light called me its son. I know not what it is or what the legend means, but we Mycidians have been told to pray for its fulfillment for ages and to believe in the one with the sacred light. I am certain that one is you. Why was that background blue? <laughs> what did you, what color did you want it to be, huh? We have to hurry and get rid of Golbez. <laughs> Tella, it's been a while. I wanted to do the Kyrie darkness joke again. <laughs> We met him on Mount Ordeals. This old man learned Meteo. What? Is the world in such a dire crisis as to unseal that spell? All I sought Meteo for was to avenge Anna. Golbez killed her, but now I can make him pay. Oh, I'm sorry. Something something conditioned to use Meteo. If I die, so be it. Golbez must be punished, no matter the cost. Stubborn as ever. You've not changed a bit. Nor you. But Cecil is now a paladin. If the two of you work together, you just might defeat Golbez. However, we'll need to go to Baron to get an airship first. Very well, I'll open the Devil's Road. Go then, to Baron. I'll pray for you in the Tower of Prayers. Paladin Cecil. It would have looked cooler if the screen dimmed and the text appeared on screen. The SNES is more than capable. It's a fucking otherworldly message that's, you know, of legend. It's not something that mere mortals are actually supposed to see, so to actually overlay the, the, the text on top of what the, we're seeing right now, you know, with the characters in the building, just quite frankly wouldn't be appropriate. All right? <sighs> <laughs> Didn't you tell us to help him? Please allow us to go with him. The light on Mount Ordeals accepted you as well. Yes, this may be your fate. Cecil, Tella, please take care of these two. But you know what we can do, don't you? Right. Never worry. We'll be with you as well. Okay, I'm counting on you all. Oh my 
my god, Celso's just like me! I have so many people supporting me! <laughs> uh, copium. Woohoo! Alright! Calm down, Palum. Shall we be off? Settle down, Anvil! Settle down! The entrance to the Devil's Road is in the building on the east side of town. You said all that like your neck was in pain. Please stop. <laughs> Maybe. I'll be in the tower praying for you and all living things. Best of luck to you. Can I go up there? It'll be real cool. How many people you got in here? OMG, more NPCs. We pray too, for all who live. Elder has been praying every day for you. Oh. Our fate is in your hands. I can only pray for you now. Palimporum, behave yourselves and help Cecil. You know there's gonna be some asshole in the comments who was like, Uh, you missed this NPC? You didn't actually read all the dialogue, you idiot. Ugh. And then I'll feel like shit. <laughs> Go in peace. Your light was so dim. But now it's radiant. Mm -hmm. You did it. It must be fate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me get some armor for Cecil because I don't think he has any. Cross. I am giving you permission to waffle through the end of book two. Your move. All right, but I need to go to a place with better music first. All right, capiche? Good grief, he's naked! Yeah, let's give him better shit. Uh, wizard cap. Gaia gear. Oh no, this was better. This was better, why did I buy that? I guess I can buy it for my mages. One, two, three, four. Still not poor. Uh, I guess I'll start now. So, where we last left off in Avitar. A V I T A R. <laughs> uh, what did happen last time? Well, anyways, uh, at the start of the, ep the first episode that I watched, uh, everyone actually managed to meet with the Earth King. Why is Plankton's first words seeing crabs nude is that? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Um, yeah, so Aang and the gang go to, like, see the Earth King. And they, like, try to sneak in. Well, they don't really try to sneak in. They just fucking run for it. And manage to fend off everybody else. Who were, like, trying to stop him from going in. Uh, and they manage to reach him. And it turns out that the Earth King is a total pushover. Who just listens to everything that Long Fang says. And speaking of Long Fang, he's back. He didn't get jobbed out by Appa like I thought he did. <laughs> I mean, in, in the back of my head, I was like, yeah, he's he's not gone. Obviously, he just got thrown away. We didn't see him for the rest of the episode, but... Come on. Uh, so yeah, we see Long Feng by the Earth King's side. And Aang and friends have to kind of prove to him that there's... A war going on, and that Long Feng cannot be trusted because he was keeping it uh, that information from him. Uh, and so they try a, a lot of ways to prove that. One of which was uh, showing Appa's bite mark on Long Feng, uh, which is still on there because, again, it's a callback to the previous episode. Where they actually rescued up and all that. Uh, you can interject at any point, by the way. <laughs> Just to, like, talk about this. <laughs> because maybe I might get stuck on not remembering something. Uh, let me see what else. Then the Earth King doesn't believe him. They, uh, because I guess Long Fang did a good enough job of explaining away why certain things might not be the case. Oh, this was just a birthmark. <laughs> uh... And then they go to Lake Lagaya, 
to show the Earth King that there was like their secret underground base, but they managed to remove it. And uh, he still doesn't believe them. And then at last, they go to the wall. And finally, the Earth King believes them because he sees the drill with the Fire Nation's insignia in it. On it, rather. Uh, and yeah, I thought that would like play into a future event. You haven't watched Avatar in a year. A lot of the little things are lost in you. Oh. But yeah, I thought that drill would play uh, a larger part. They couldn't have just like left it there with like the hole. That had to have like some consequence or uh, do something for the heroes later on, and it did. So yeah, Long Fang was proven to be lying about there not being a war, <laughs> and he was thrown in prison. Uh, what happened then? I think. Oh yeah, there were like. There was this chest that Long Feng had where he withheld uh, letters that were given to Team Avatar, like individually. Mostly. Uh, Aang was given uh, a letter from the Guru. Whoa. Yeah, Aang was given a letter that a Guru strapped onto Appa. Uh, Toph was given a letter who was supposedly from her mother. Who was supposedly living in Ba Sing Se. And I believe Katara and Sokka were given like some info on on uh, some water tribe ships or something like that. Like some camp that was being set or like some group of people were like coming up nearby. Uh, so everyone makes plans to like split apart for a little while to uh, go in go in, like uh, I guess just kind of relax for a bit Chris what would you do if you were invited to a death battle by Nintendo I'd beat him up uh, yeah they went off to like do their own business Toph to go meet with her mother uh, Aang to go and meet with the guru to understand like the like how to how to tap into the avatar state. Uh, and Sokka Sokka goes without Katara to like a, a water tribe nearby. Uh, and I guess Katara just like stays in Bossing Say. I forget what the reason was. Hmm. But uh you referenced the Guru earlier in Strom. Did you really? I didn't see it. I forget if this happened in the same episode. No, it didn't. No. The, that first episode I watched ended, episode 18 ended, with uh, showing three Kyoshi warriors who in reality are Azula, Mai, and... Is it Mai or Mei? And Tai Lee. You know, Azula and her two friends. Uh... Yeah, they're disguised as Kyoshi warriors because they fought them when Appa was lost. And uh, who knows what happened to uh, to the actual Kyoshi warriors. I wonder if we'll see them later on. You must open all the chakras. Oh yeah, you're right. I think that was a part of the second episode I watched. Right? I'll try and remember things in the order that they happened. Aang goes there to the Guru to uh, try to, to learn how to unlock the Avatar state. Uh, and he does a pretty good job of like letting go a lot of things up until he's told to let go of like Katara. And then he says to himself that he, he can't do it. And he's like slowly like getting it until he senses that Katara's in trouble. And so what turns out to be happening is uh, Toph gets captured by people who aren't her mother the the instructor that was teaching her and the, that one guy from that tournament I forget what his name was but the people who were like ordered by her parents to like capture her so yeah she was kidnapped uh, to like try to be taken home 
and Katara. I remember at some point Katara notices Zuko and Iroh at their tea shop. Which, speaking of both of them, uh, Zuko, I remember, was feeling a little sick earlier because he did something good. <laughs> and it was, like, conflicting with, like, his heart's true nature. Because he, he had, like, a, a dark, evil heart. So it it made him feel weird when he did something good. <laughs> his heart grew three times larger, and uh, he his body didn't know how to react, so he, he became sick. Um... But then following that, well, of course, Iroh explains what's going on with him. Um, but after that, he he's put in a good mood. He's it seems like he's like actually changed and like he no longer needs to search for the avatar to have some sort of purpose. Uh, Katara, Katara, why can't I remember what was going on with Katara? I remember. Oh, I, I remember now. Katara saw Zuko and Iroh in tea shop. Then she was like, she tells the, the three Kyoshi warriors that, oh, there's these people from the Fire Nation here. We gotta do something about it. And Azula catches wind that uh, Zuko is uh, is in Ba Sing Se. Zuko literally fainted in the most dramatic way after freeing up. <laughs> Yeah, so Katara told them about that, and I believe she was instantly captured after recognizing that, oh, these aren't actually the Kyoshi warriors, you know, Suki and all that. Uh, and then she gets imprisoned. And then later, they imprison uh, Zuko. Right? How does that happen? Who gets imprisoned first? Was it Katara or was it Zuko? Because they both get imprisoned and they get sent to like the same place. How does Zuko get imprisoned? I can't remember. Hold on. Avatar Season 2. Tell me about this. This was the second episode I watched today, I know. Azula decides it's time to go after Zuko and Iroh. Uh, oh yeah, Iroh and Zuko receive a message about serving tea to the Earth King. Okay. Okay. So yeah, they get tricked into going to serve tea to the Earth King, and then they get captured there. Oh yeah, and, uh, Azula and Long fell on, Long Feng are like in cahoots with one another, something like that. Iroh evades capture, but Zuko is quickly overwhelmed and thrown in prison. There it is. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, Ang goes back, uh, and. He gets Sokka, who was like in his water tribe, who actually met his father there. They were originally going to go fight some Fire Nation fleets. Boy, I hope that goes well. Although, I'm kind of planning on it. <laughs> Not planning. I don't think it will go well. I think I think we're going to get a, a sad moment with that. I don't know. I'm just trying to make predictions. Hey, Zero. Uh, I'm just uh, talking about Avatar. What else? Yeah, Ang goes and uh, he gets Sokka. Do you guys like Zuko with short or long hair? I like him with the, the long hair. He gets Sokka and he goes to... Uh, hmm. Reunite with Toph. Right, Toph escapes uh, after being kidnapped. Yeah. Uh, 
when the guru was talking to uh, Aang, he was mentioning something about like how I don't know if he was like that explicit with it, but something relating to Toph's problem, where she was trapped in some like uh, steel or metal, and she challenges that there's like no ground in in steel. Or, like, no rocks and steel when there is, and she actually manages to escape that way. Uh, hmm. So, yeah, all three meet. And they all go to find Katara. But they can't. And then Iroh meets up with them, and he, he's like, yeah, I, I need you, your guys' help. To help, you know, find Zuko and, I guess, Katara, who've been caught by the government. Uh, around this time, I think it's, like, Zula takes control of, like, the government from Long Feng. Something like that, because she, she controls the Dai Li. Originally, the Dai Li were, like, loyal to Long Feng, but then they became loyal to Zula. Oh, yeah! The greatest illusion in this world is the illusion of separation. That's right. I remember that. And that makes me wonder if there was a time where uh, the Fire Nation and uh, all the other tribes and people from the other, uh, well, relating to the other elements, ever lived in peace. Maybe. Uh, Let's see, Long Feng arrives on, oh yeah! Long Feng was like, now is when I like betray you. But then Azula wins by being like, oh, these people have to decide for themselves who will actually take control here. And uh, it seems like we already know who who's taking control here. Roku was friends with the Fire Lord. Okay. Whoa, it says here Clancy Brown voices Long Fang. Mr. Krabs, really? He's a heel? Gross. Uh, it says here, Aang and Iroh arrive at Katara and Zuko's cell to rescue them. Oh yeah, because they like... They don't torture a guy, but they, they get some answers from a guard who tells them where Katara and Zuko are. <laughs> Whoa, that's the same guy? Yeah, I guess. Uh, so yeah, some guard spills beans. And so we get a little moment where Iroh and Aang talk. And I thought that was pretty neat. Pretty, pretty cool. At first, they don't trust him because he's affiliated with Zuko and, you know, the Fire Nation. Well, that's what they think. They're no longer affiliated with them. I thought, though that they would be able to coexist a lot more a lot more easily though like they shouldn't be afraid of Iroh didn't they didn't they like help each other at the end of the first season not Zuko but Iroh did he was definitely present for the 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 fish that died at the North Pole they didn't really acknowledge him though he I don't know, I guess maybe, like, Aang never had, like, any direct interactions with him. He was just sort of there. Ira was sort of, sort of just there. And he was kind of, like, helping. Maybe it was, like, a, like an in-the-moment kind of thing, like, oh, he can help us, but they don't think, wait a second, he'll, he'll probably betray us or something. But, oh, uh, yeah, when Sokka and Aang see Iroh, they kind of freak out. And I was like, huh. Do they still think, like, these guys are evil? I know they would think that Zuko is evil. But Iroh? Hmm. Iroh threatened to fuck Zhao up for killing the spirits. Right. There you go. But, uh, I guess they still think that they're, like... They're, um... I don't know. Like, there's beef. 
But yeah, uh, Ang and and uh, Iro. I don't, I don't know if I'd say they became friends, but Iro pretty much gives them like good advice. Iro never posed a threat to Team Avatar. True. Oh yeah, and uh, a neat little callback to how Iro and Toph uh, had a little an interaction together earlier. And uh, Toph was like, wait, there's someone at the door, and I know him. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they all go underground, and they find where Katara and Zuko are. Uh, and actually, right before this happens, uh, Zuko and Katara were like talking to one another, and Katara was like just about to heal Zuko's scar. Because that's like the last piece of the puzzle in regards to like what's holding him back. Like it, that scar is like a reminder of of uh you know his past, his like being disgraced, and uh, he can only come back if he captures the Avatar or something like that. So he, I'm guessing he probably would have wanted to heal that uh, just so that he can finally put. A bunch of that shit behind them. But unfortunately, the moment's interrupted by uh, Iroh and Aang, who managed to find them. We learned more about that in book three because this was after Redacted was redacted. <laughs> so yeah, it kind of seems like Zuko's like kind of about a about a face turn, he's about to turn good. But he he still gives Aang like a mean look. Because there's still beef between the two. Uh, and then Azula appears. And everyone fights. Well, no. Uh, Azula appears before... Uh, Iroh and Zuko. And I guess uh, Team Avatar just kind of escaped first? Is that what happened? Let me see. Azula then appears and traps Iroh, offering Zuko his honor if he joins her. Yeah, something like that. And then uh, Azula finds her way to Aang, and they fight. And we don't know what Zuko decided until he, like, starts attacking Aang. And in my mind, I'm like, well, surely he's kidding, right? Like, maybe maybe we don't know the answer, but, like, maybe it's a swerve. But no, he just straight up, like, helps uh, Azula. Oh yeah, Aang was uh, getting a little callback to when the Guru told him to let go of Katara, to like try to go into his avatar state, and he's just about to get to it when Azula zaps him with lightning, and he like stops and like falls to the ground, and it almost looks like he dies. Uh, but Iroh allows everyone to escape, and gets captured. Uh, and then... Actually, does he get captured? Did he get captured twice? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he gets captured. But yeah, uh, they rescue Aang before they're, they're about to do anything else to him. Even though, like... I'm pretty sure everyone assumed he was dead until uh, Katara tried to like heal him. Ira gets captured. There you go. Okay. And he's upset at uh, Zuko as well, I should state. And then we see Zuko by Azula's side, and he's still kind of unsure of, like, what he what he really wants. Oh yeah, and they're flying with the king as well, I should state that. The Earth King. <laughs> I completely forgot about him. It's... I don't know, it's... Do I want to say he's forgettable? He's a pushover. 
I don't give a shit about him. He can perish for all I care. Did you ever see the episode where Aang earthbends the air out of someone's lungs as a joke, and then the rest of the episode just ignores it? You don't think Aang mastered the Avatar state when he let go? True. So, you don't think that when... Or rather, had Azula not thrown her lightning at him, you don't think he would have achieved the Avatar state anyways? Is that what you're telling me? Maybe. Maybe not, rather. Chris, one thing you might notice is that Iroh has very few spoken lines in Book 3. Aww, yeah, I know. I know this because uh, his old voice actor died. Yep, they were able to work around it, though. Hmm... I'm guessing... I'm guessing he's gonna be voiced by someone else, but maybe they just don't wanna... use him too much, just so that it's not too disparaging. I don't know. Anyways, let's get back to the game as, uh, I guess maybe we'll play for just a little bit more. Shame I couldn't recap and play the game at the same time. I feel like other people could probably do that more successfully. Uh, oh yeah! He achieved it, but he didn't master it. A little trivia, an avatar who masters the avatar states, eyes glow only momentarily. Okay, I guess I didn't notice that. I found it neat how he just like trapped himself. Well, he didn't trap himself, but he, he locked himself up in like a little crystal hideout. Young! Oh, you probably don't recognize me. It's me, Cecil. I become a paladin. So the traitor showed his face. Get him! Sir! Uh, would you guys be weak to anything, I wonder? Uh-oh. Okay, well, I can't heal that with you. I gotta actually attack. I can't wait on this. Yeah, Zula fucked him up. Oh, I can cast magic while I'm me. Right. Uh, I don't have Essena. Just heal. Didn't do anything. Cast Essena real quick. Yang, don't you recognize me? Of course I do, criminal. I'm guessing my face is plastered along the walls of this place. What a shame. Let me use Protect on... You. <laughs> You're our main damage dealer now. Maybe Berserk Cecil? And to answer what you spoiled last time for yourself, you were right. Aang dies and grows hair. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I don't know how you found this info out beforehand. I never saw Aang die or grow hair. I just saw him as old. Wow. Damn. All right. Hiya! Ooh. Almost died. Ugh. Ugh, Cecil. Weren't we attacked by Leviathan? I remember a little after that. Old Ang is core content. True. It seems Baron manipulated you while you were under a bout of amnesia. Forgive me. 
Meridian Ses uh, Edward. R well, that was Cecil's voice, I'm sorry. Meridian was swallowed by Leviathan. I don't know of Prince Edward's fate. I see. Where am I? Baron. Let's get a room. Soldiers everywhere. Dum -dum -ba -dum 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 -dum. Hi, Monk Yang. <clears throat> Yang? I'm sorry. You feel like I've looked up Avatar stuff and I'm accidentally spoiling myself. No, I haven't looked it up. It was something I saw before I started watching the series. Mm. Who's this gentleman? Sage Tella. Edwards. My daughter loved him and sacrificed her life for him. I see. I'm Yang. Hi, Monk of Fabul. I'm the Mycidian prodigy, Palum. Feel free to ignore him. I'm his twin sister, Porum. That hurt, man. Stop it, Palum. I'm ashamed. Anyway, we must now rescue Sid. It won't be easy to sneak. It won't be easy to sneak into the castle. Sneak, in, sneak into the castle. <laughs> I can't do the voices. Too much. Too many characters here. The Baron Key. They must have entrusted you with it when you were under their watch. The little herber brr brr With this, we can go through the underground waterway. I remember watching a Spanish program and they were imitating Americans. And their way of doing it was like. <laughs> That's what all Americans sound like. It's true. Anyways, underground waterway, not that. Oh, wait, I can go to the weapon shop. The tired slowly seeping in. Go to bed. Unlocked. What cool shit have you here? Uh, nothing I need. Maybe a healing staff. No, no. Wait, you have Essena? No. I thought silence was Essena for a bit. Basic as staff. Excited to see your reaction to book three. Most of the plot loose ends will be tied up, so get ready. You'll learn backstories, incomplete plot lines, character arcs, all of it. Okay, it better be a hundred episodes long. <laughs> Headband, Kempogi, uh, let me see. What do you have? Oh, okay. Obviously. Everyone can equip it though, damn. I'm not that rich. Hi, I'm Rich from New Tech USA. Sign out. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's 20 episodes long, you think? Damn. I mean, I was aware. But damn. Uh, does Sid's daughter have anything to say? Because Sid probably isn't here anymore. Cecil, you're alive! Dad hasn't come home from the castle for a while. Ah. Oh, I see. I need to see something. Uh, regarding how far I'm into this game. Aang's voice is also starting to get deeper. Oh no. Okay. Final Fantasy 2. I'd rather 4. God, part one of nine. <laughs> Where was that long play that I was searching through? That wasn't it. The one that I was looking at I had... Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm about... Three hours, 20 minutes in. And that's out of 12 hours. So we're nearly... Oh, no, let me count. It's 
spell. 13 hours, rather. So 325, about a quarter of the way done. Let's do a little bit more. Maybe we can get a third of the way done. Free item. 1,000 gil. Ooh, how are my healing items looking like? Still got a shit ton of potions. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, you can see how much I don't use my items, but... Let me go and get some more status healing items. Just in case. Never know. Oh! I should pause this video that's playing in the background. What do you say? Yeah, 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 okay. Why are you so expensive? Well, gold needle, okay. Yeah, I guess. Buy ten of each. Uh, you know what? Ten tenths, why not? And buy a few gold needles. Twenty-eight is a shit ton? Man, you have JRPG hoarding syndrome worse than you thought you did. Well, I mean, I ha haven't really been buying much. So to have uh, amassed that is quite a bit. Cool, let me just sort things out there. Boom. I should probably save. Yeah, before something like this happens. Oh yeah, these alligators can hit twice. Gotta watch out for that. Libra. JRPG hoarding syndrome. How much money? Uh, a lot. Okay. If you don't have 30 Phoenix Downs and 50 of each potion at a time, you're panicked. Really? That seems like too much. How do you have any money to buy anything? Any money? Did I make sure to buy everything here that I wanted? I could have bought more armor for everybody else. But, uh, no. No wonders in Blade is your favorite game. No items. <laughs> Splasher. There's some elect fish here. Elect fish. Is this a one hit KO? Yes. Wait a second. What's the difference between X potion and high potion? Uh, large amount and moderate. Okay. Haven't recognized any enemies that I haven't seen. Aqua Worm. I have seen some sea serpents. Not in real life, though. Also known as Flood Worm. A flood is an overflow of water that submerges land, which is usually dry. Huh. Well, this is a waterway, so I don't, I don't think it would usually be dry, but sure. You know what? Now I can make use of my uh, ethers, which I never use. I'm really bad about not using ethers. Oh, that didn't do much damage. I also never use Osmos. This game gives me all the tools, but I, like, ignore it. Whoa, an East Coast man tells another East Coast man what a flood is? <laughs> Stop being mean to me! Stop! You're just jealous because I'm well learned. Why is this worm so hairy? Oh, just 
kill him. Okay. Let's use Tella for healing. Sure. Oh, easy. Kill all the fresh first. What? How can you act like that? Like that fast? Bruh. That's what the getting hit sound sounds like. <laughs> Dandara. Is that enough to kill? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Forget the fact that Philly and NJ get a flash flood warning, like, every month. Forget the Kevin Lord that he lived in Philadelphia and moved away. I don't care about that. <laughs> yes. True, true. I'm not accustomed with using yas, though. That's, uh... Well, I wouldn't say it's before my time. <gasps> a Hydra! Now I can finally learn what it is. Well, I know what it is, but most Hydras that I've seen don't look like that. So, uh, I'm gonna need you to explain. Also, apparently there's an enemy called Avatar in Final Fantasy XI. The Hydra was one of the spawn of Echidna, a many-headed serpentine monstrosity in ancient Greek mythology. It could breathe poison, and indeed, its very blood was deadly. The Hydra was killed as one of Heracles' twelve labors. <gasps> Heracles! <coughs> Quite impressive! Ninety percent of the foreigners you're friends with foam at the mouth of the idea of becoming Canadian. Have they been brainwashed? <laughs> you mean after your name? <laughs> What's wrong with the 75 Chris 5 brand, huh? I think it's marketable. Chris, I feel like there's a power dynamic issue <laughs> in our less than parasocial relationship, and I want to discuss it now. Bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what are you talking about? Look at my old man, he's so strong. Ooh, young. Quite impressive. <laughs> Heracles. What an ugly name. What if Cloud was in this game? Would he do better than Cecil? Wow, so many preemptive strikes. What if I do a normal blizzard? Let's see. See, chat? That's the issue. It's no fun when you react with these empty ass insults. That's my job, alright? <laughs> Stop hating. Okay. I believe there's a save room coming up soon. Like right up here. Guard. Wait a second, these guys cast magic, don't they? Yup! He wasn't even the one who targeted you. Come on. I guess I don't have anything that cures many except for uh, Pella. Very good. It's like I don't even exist to you, Chris. I'm just a SpongeBob avatar and Sonic guy to you. I see how it is. True, true. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ew, 
six MP just to heal that. I don't even have an item that heals that, right? Because isn't that called, like, Mallet? Huh. I wonder what a guard is. The recurring enemy. Etymology. Military police are police organizations connected with or part of the military of a state. Trooper from the French troupier is the equivalent rank to private in a regiment, with a cavalry tradition in the British Army and many other Commonwealth armies. What does Commonwealth mean? Including those of Australia, Canada, South Africa, and New Zealand. Wow. Did you guys learn that? That's what a guard is. They're not going to teach you that in the textbooks. Come on, Porum. Need healing. Ooh, am I dead? Ah, oh, come on. Good. Okay, I'm going to need raise. That's the countries the queen rules over. Some of the countries. Oh. The queen, huh? Has anyone ever gotten in trouble for roasting the queen? I'm sure in school. This battle's taking way too long. I hate it. I hate it. That's why it's called the Royal Canadian Mountain Police. That's too long. Just call them the feds. Ooh, Berserk. Okay, come on. Right there, come on. No! Taking too many steps. I can just run away from these, though. I should do that more, maybe. Oh, here's where there's like a secret room. Ancient sword. Uh, in Final Fantasy V, the ancient sword casts old, but I think in this game it casts curse. Let me check that. Ancient sword. Final Fantasy IV. Sword that sometimes curses the enemy. Yep. Ooh, we got an etymology. A sword is a blade weapon used primarily for cutting or thrusting. Ah. Some disgusting folks here fall them Mounties. There was a wrestler called the Mountie. Uh, apparently he was really lame though. Maybe that's anti-Canadian propaganda. I just never thought about it until now. Apparently, the Mountie Wrestler wasn't allowed to be called the Mountie in Canada. <laughs> Ooh, wait a second, this boss might actually kick my ass. Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> we'll see. Cecil! Cecil, you're alive! Bygone! Did you side with Golbez as well? As captain of the Royal Guard, my loyalty is to Baron. Have you seen Sid? I've heard he's being held here. He is. My men and I attempted to rescue him, but only I survived. I see. Come with us. You'll be a great help. Yes, my lord. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, it smells awful. Yeah, like a monster. You think it's pronounced Cecil? Ah, no, it's Cecil. I'm about to show you right now why you're wrong.
<laughs> I'm about to show you right now. Alright, we just gotta wait for them to say his name. It troubles him too. They don't have uh, uh the captions Red though. Everyone all right. But I know they say Cecil. They do not say Cecil. They have to say his name here. Yeah, right there. Cecil? God is ass. <laughs> You're wrong. I'm right. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, boss time. Chris, why did you unironically reply to the FF Origin tweet asking for 8-bit music in the game, trying to play it off like a haha -ha joke? Because it needs the 8-bit music! 8-bit music makes everything awesome. He bought the receipts. Damn. <laughs> you stink. Your acting is really terrible, you know? Mine? Damn. So you're... A traitor? No. I'm simply repaying Lord Gobaz for a wonderful gift he gave me. Behold! Stop looking at my tweets. Oh, too little damage. Let's preserve Cecil. Uh, black magic. Faraga. Oh, no. Okay, no more Faraga then. Uh, cure. Kiraga. A normal person would pronounce it that, but the psychopaths at Square Enix into Cecil. It is Cecil! Who would say Cecil? Ugh. It's too formal. Nice. What if I do twin cast? This can't possibly be reflected. Right? Pyro. Cynical? Hello? The name Cecilia? <laughs> oh, why don't I also berserk Yang? See, that'd be smart. I also need to attack the middle section. Uh... Well, you can't really do anything. Just twin cast then. If I try to cast Libra on the middle section, will it work? Or is it just gonna reflect off? I could try the spell as well, I don't know why. I didn't do that. You don't have it though. <laughs> Twitter is a public platform. You sign to the terms and agreements. Hop off. Leave me alone. I'm perfect just the way I am. Uh, where is that? Oh, well, don't care. <gasps> Never mind. <laughs> His hand is still alive. How horrid. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna go back and save. You're too trusting, dude. I'm pretty sure they removed the dudes from FF2 US. Which... No, well, this is just a, a relocalization. So I would understand why. Why it's not there. You want to be toxic to me cross, I'll return that toxicity a thousandfold. <laughs> Why? Why are you mean? I didn't do anything. I'm just living my life. Living, laughing, loving. You know? <laughs> I think a modern AAA game deserves to have an 8-bit soundtrack. Why wouldn't it? It would pay homage to gaming's past. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Keep on looking at my tweets. See what happens. Wait, speaking of my tweets, you guys should have seen this. In fact, I'm I'm sure most of you haven't seen it. But uh here on my Twitter account So, if you look under uh, Tweets and Replies, you can see somewhere over here, this. So this didn't appear on people who, uh, people's timelines who, like, follow me. But if you haven't seen it, I'll show it to you right now. 75 Chris, I have not seen him in a longo time. I see his streams. You're like on, he's like on a Final Fantasy, uh, like marathon right now or something. No way. <laughs> no yeah, way. Crazy. It's like starting from like the old games, like on Game Boy. Don't make fun and, of him, Chris. Uh, Come on. Damacon and stuff. And Link is cool as well. He's making his way through. It's awesome. Game over, JOC. Welcome. To That's the it. That <laughs> that was the end of that. But uh. No, I thought it was a pretty cool shout out because I, if you didn't notice, by the way, I was playing Smash with these guys because they were doing their 24 hour thing uh, for charity. So, yeah, I was there and uh, one of the guys commentating recognized me and I thought, OK, cool. Anyways, the lore expands. <laughs> the lore, what lore? I just thought it was pretty neat, you know? Okay. I use a tent, right? Yes. Bowen, do you think with minimal grinding, will I first try the next boss? Didn't you want to be a part of the N10 crew, though? No. I never really said anything. I don't mind being affiliated with them. Or, like, uh... You know, being, like, that one guy who, like, sports them every so now and then. Like, they're cool. I join some of their streams sometimes. Define minimal. <laughs> I just realized I was several minutes behind stream, and you thought... Chris was arguing and insulting himself and losing. What? <laughs> losing. <laughs> Kagnazo's easy baby games. Oh, ain't it gonna be embarrassing if I lose? I did not read that text, I'm sorry. Well, if I die, then I will. Your Majesty. Your Majesty? Oh, you mean that old duffer who refused to surrender his kingdom? Ha ha ha! I must say I've enjoyed impersonating him. What have you done with the king? You'll see him soon enough. Give my regards to Scarmi Leone if you see him in hell. How someone as weak as he became an elemental fiend, I will never know. Wahaha. Then you're... Oh, time for the elemental arc fiends. Something like that. Indeed. I am the water fiend, Cagnazzo. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you're right, you're useless. Somewhat. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, do your thing. There it is. I don't have haste, right? That is a no. But also a yes, because tell us. What? Bullshit. <laughs> I got scammed. Nah, okay. I gotta hurry up. Chris, hurry the hell up. Do something. You can't just wait, because you don't have weight on. You're inactive. Okay, do it again. Try me. Come on. I'm 
I'm fine, I'm fine. What? Kiraga heals so little? Well, it's Tella. His stats aren't really all that high up. Damn, uh, Yong? Okay, I need you to be hasted up. Well, I'm gonna get rid of that water real quick. But watch him still do a tsunami. Oh, never mind. Well, maybe. Who knows? No, I'm good. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we can take a look at Tello's stats in a bit. Unfortunately, we can't compare him to Palums, or rather Porums, in a bit. Because, uh, well. Uh. You imposter. <clears throat> no way, I gotta give him a, a Mike Pollock voice. <laughs> it's not gonna come out that way. He's literally Eggman! He looks like him. You're gonna pay for sticking me in that stinking joint? Huh? Sid! Cecil! You're alive! Where's Rosa? She ran after you! Golbez took her. Dang, Golbez! First my airships and now Rosa? We must rescue her. Take us to your airship. Who's this old geezer? You're one to talk. Hey, I'm still young! Like I said, easy babby games. Sure. Yo, what is that? Victory. Crewmate. <laughs> Stop that! Mr. Sid, this is Sage Tella. He's young, the high monk of Fagul. I'm Porum, a white mage of Asidia. Oh, and he's Palum, my twin brother. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I thought I heard Mike Pollock on stream, but it was just Chris. Holy fucking shit! Stop roasting me! <laughs> I'm trying my hardest, alright? An Arna Mitra system. Well, he knows some manners. So, where's the latest ship? Or nobody to expect, of course. Well, hurry up. Shut up and follow me. <laughs> You've beaten me, but you haven't heard the last of Cagnazzo. Now join me in hell. Hell is capitalized. Hee ha ha. Star power. <laughs> that wasn't a good Mike Pollock. It's locked! This one too! I don't know if you want to take that as a roast or a compliment. <laughs> I know what your true intentions are. Stop it. Pound? Porn? Thanks, dude. It was like we gained a big brother. What are you doing? You won't let you all die like this. Tella, look after Cecil for us. Ready for him? Yes. Stop. Break. Palum. Porum. All right, who's crying in chat right now? Out yourselves right now. Hold on. Asuna.
no effect as the twins became stone of their own will. Fools, if any of us had to die, it ought to have been me. They were only children. Your efforts shall not be in vain. I'll fire up the Enterprise. We'll avenge them both. Colbez, I'm coming for you. That was more of a young voice, I'm sorry. Did Cecil just, like, disappear? <laughs> like, right before the others? Uh-oh. He slew Cagnazzo as well. He's grown quite strong. About the last crystal. I know. But its location is a problem. How about we get Cecil to get it for us? Cecil? We have Rosa. We'll offer in exchange the, the crystal for her life. Indeed. And then we'll destroy him. Very well. I'll go and get him then. Cain! You'll see soon enough that I'm better than Cecil. Cecil, I'm better than you. I gotta be careful, I can't go too southern. Never want to go too southern. Here? Right under their noses. I just want to chat, Chris. Yeah, I say hurtful things. Maybe possibly. But I have no bad intentions. I know I called you a beta. <laughs> but I know... <laughs> but I... I was trolling, right? Yeah. I think it was hidden here. Amazing. Ain't she a beaut? Let's go, Enterprise. Uh, my said voice is uh, getting a little weird. Look at this. Man's avarice has created such contraption. How embarrassing. Airship Enterprise? Yep. Here they come! Let's show them what the Enterprise can do. Wait! That's a... white flag. I think that means we want to be friends. Kane! So you're alive. Impressive. What in the world's gotten into you, Kane? Where's Rosa? <laughs> Wait about you, are you? If you wish to see her alive, fetch me the Earth Crystal from Troya. What? Dirty slime. I'll make contact once you have it, if you value Rosa's life. Why, you? Wake up, Kane. This meeting is over. Look at the little druids that they got over there. Spooky. Troya? <laughs> Stop. Cecil, blast that cane. Yeah, I agree. Why didn't you? Sid, set us on a course northwest to Troya. Opinion about text boxes. All right. Give me your hateful rhetoric then. Rhetoric roll. I just wanted to hear the airship theme. <laughs> Kane Highwind, wake up. Highwind? Ricard Highwind? Kane Highwind? Sid Highwind? Holy shit, it's all connected. You know Cecil's last name is Harvey? <laughs> I think this is the first a game where they actually give characters last names. Uh, Rosa has, like, some weird Italian last name. It's like Joanna or something like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
We've been going on for like six hours now. Uh, I think maybe we should end the stream. But uh, I know my next destination, and so far, uh, this adventure hasn't really gotten too tough. Uh, look at Sid, he's more overleveled than uh, Cecil. It's just, why do the characters stare in the same text box? Why not have them say what they have to say in one box? That's it. <laughs> well, they kind of do do that in later re-releases where they have portraits next to their names. So it was rectified. Yeah, in quotation marks. <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't really matter either way for me. Look at Sid! He, he's Eggman! Look at him! I like how we don't see him from the front. When you see him from the side, he's just fucking... <laughs> I don't know, looking quite knackered. I don't... Looking real weird. He's got a little pink nose like Eggman. I am the Eggman! <laughs> His class is Engineer. I believe he has a scan ability. Let me check. Okay, so Sid. Yeah, study. There you go. Of your HP, no weaknesses found. So it's a free scan. Toria got to your music? Ugh, you just want me to play it, don't you? Fortunately, I put Sid in the back row. Because uh, he's a pretty decent damage dealer. Some decent damage from the back row. Mm, we got a mallet finally. Okay. Uh, go back to this. Cecil in the middle. Sid at the top. Yang at the bottom. Tella right next to Cecil. Good. Yo. Uh, let's go, Sid, because I think he's cool. Never actually heard the original, really. <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> the color of the the windows, I changed it to black just to show everyone, like, that's what I used to pick when I was younger. And I never changed it back to this turquoise color, which I originally had. How embarrassing. Aren't there some underwater items here? Could have sworn. Oh, I need to talk to NPCs. They might say something important. But I could also leave that for next time. Have you seen my husband? No. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, get your own spot. The perverted little bastard. Care for a dip? You can't swim with armor on, it'll rust. I feel like that has something to do with if the water is, like, salty. Creates double increases evade. Oh. Okay, so it creates like another version of myself just to like distract the enemy. Okay. Have you heard of Whisperweed? I hear you can transmit your voice really far with it. That's funny. So in the original NA release, what they did was they they called the Whisperweed like a harp. <laughs> in fact, let me let me search up the name. Whisperweed. 
Yeah, it used to be known as twin harp, which is really weird because it's a plant as opposed to an actual instrument. It's the image command. Yeah. Can you move, please? Did you change it? Because that color reminds you of Windows 95. I tried to like reinterpret that. Sure. No NPCs here. Come on, guys, I need content. Where's my content? Did I talk to you? Metals are too heavy to carry in the Magnus Cave in the Northeast Isle. Oh. Do you mind? I'm tanning. Oh my. <laughs> oh yeah, this place. Thanks to our rich soil, we have lots of fresh Gasol greens for our birdie pals. Birdie pals. That sure is not a yes, so you're lying. Thank you. <laughs> They're so cute, but kind of stink. I didn't need to know that. I thought all chocobos were clean. This is fucked up. The wild ones out in Chocobo Village can still fly a bit and land in the woods. The village is in the forest to the north. <sighs> Stupid kid. Oh. <laughs> I want to fly on a black chocobo, but mom says these ones can't fly anymore. Black chocobos fly right back home after a round trip. <gasps> Just like an aeroplane. I hate this place. <laughs> I'm free. <laughs> What? Oh my gosh. I never knew about that. Secret. Alright, Bowen. It appears as though you will get your wish. You will get to hear the Troya theme. Wait, there's one more place I haven't visited. The pub? Yes, we can waste more time. Yes! The air's good. The food's good. I love this place. That's me, IRL. Live, laugh, love. God, I want to experience everything this game has to offer, but I'm just not that rich. Live a long life. This place beats heaven. Finally, got a counter seat. The chicks here always look fine. Hey, cutie. Chat with me for a while. Give me a holler if you want something. Stella, you're so beautiful. What? You're a man. Yeah. <laughs> Allow me to show you folks a good time. What's with the look? You're in my way. This man just cheered about wasting time. <laughs> Leave me alone. Stop. Got enough gill? Nothing comes cheaply up here. What do you even got? Members only. Now get. Baby, give me a fur coat next time. Anything for you. Damn that old geezer. He got my sweet Jenny. Who this fellow? That's when I dealt a mighty blow to the imp. Ooh, stories. He keeps retelling the same boring old story. I can't talk to that lady over there. Is this lost media? Fuck. Move. Yeah, I can't. Her text will forever go unread. God, that was torture. <laughs> What's my in-game time? Ooh. 5.42. Alright. Here we go. Alright, chat. You need to tell me. Is this theme good? Fight back, Chris. God, leave me alone, man. Will ya? Man up, will ya? Must be the full moon. All right, I need to create a poll. Is this song good? Is 
yes or hell no? Ask your community. Ugh, I hate that word. We're gonna pull it up, alright? Is... Is it not gonna appear? There it is, okay. Hey! Come back. You guys better vote. Ooh, 100%. Two votes. <laughs> you hate getting random back pain. You're just trying to watch Final Fantasy 4. Bro, stretch. <laughs> Who voted hell no? Out yourselves right now. This is not anonymous. I can see who voted. <laughs> 75 Chris 5 community. Ew! I hate that. Okay, I think four people is uh, everyone, right? Let's see. Marv, Zero, Kevin, and Bowen, and there's nobody else here. Right? Can you scroll up? No, you can't. Eesh. Okay, yeah, that's everyone. So, uh, the community consensus is, yeah, I guess it's good. Oh, I actually clicked hell no as a joke, and it still put me that- Oh no, it just lagged. <laughs> you refuse to participate in this false dichotomy. <laughs> That's just hater speak for I'm a hater. Uh, whatever, we'll go into that place and, uh, you know, talk to everyone next time. Also, chat, what color do you want me to change the window to? Because, after all, this isn't my stream. This is our stream. We are a family, after all. But fuck you guys if you want to hang out. I won't do it. <laughs> Magenta? Ew. It has red in it. You really want to choose a, a color like this? Ugh. Got back, Yang. Gained two hours from mostly waiting around, though. Uh, are you where I'm at, though? Red? Bruh. No. I hate red. Can I make it all white? Hell yeah. Chris, shut up! You hate us and only stream to fill a void. You are a true beta and a sigma, and not the good sigma. <laughs> now you can't read, whoa. Make it more of a purple. Like that? Hell no, I'm behind. <laughs> Can you guys choose anything without red? <laughs> Darker. Uh. No, it's gonna be more like this. I think this is a good color. Calculator green screen. <laughs> for almost six and a half hours there okay you know what I actually like this this is a cool color wait a second oh, it's just a slight it's like slightly lighter than the other save slots God, that's weird canceled yeah all the time on Twitter by the way <laughs> anyways so ends that but, uh, <laughs> I have one last surprise, uh, and it relates to music that I found that I would love to play on stream because I just thought it was really cool, and, uh, I've, I was just wondering when the hell am I going to play this? So, might as well do it now. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess it's three songs, really. So I started the stream out with this song.
You're more of a vibrant purple person, but your opinions aren't allowed here, so never mind. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what are you looking at, Bo? Pausers? Yeah, what do you guys think of this, huh? In fact, I want you guys to guess where is this from? Look at your boy still having so much energy after six and a half hours. Although I would rather the stream not be so long, but it is what it is. Incredibly chill? I guess. But I don't know, is it from Persona? Is it from Sonic? Is it from Mario? <laughs> Definitely Capcom. <laughs> yeah, sure. Pretty chill. Sounds like music from a collection. Like Pac-Man or Outrun. Isn't it from racing? Maybe. You started with it, right? Yes, I did. Okay, so not from Capcom. This definitely is a Persona. It could be from Persona, come on, bro. Anyways, uh, this song is actually a remix of a pre-existing song. Well, a second remix, I should say. Uh, should I go to the original or to the first remix? Let's go to the original. Sega Rally? No, no. So this is the original version of the song, because we're currently listening to a remix. Hmm. Huh, oh, what's that noise? From Persona? Where is this from? What? Persona racing game? <laughs> Sega Rally? No. Bridge Racer? No. <laughs> Was that the game? What? Persona? Sure. Persona cart. Oh right, Gran Turismo. Ah, well you probably just looked back. Daytona, you wish. Anyway, this is a long ass song. This is actually like five minutes long and it doesn't loop. So, uh, we can just chat the night away. Just listen to this. No, you just remembered. Sure. Sure you did. Also, why am I wasting time? I could just, like, grind. I actually first listened to the song today uh, because I was reminded of its remix, which I heard when I was younger. Chris is toxic confirmed. How? Oh my god, Sib, you gotta watch out, bud. Okay, don't attack the needle, hogs. Wait a second, Sonic? How could you ever use that word on me? You should 
give Gran Turismo a try? Well, I owned Gran, Gran Turismo 2 when I was younger. I don't know the graphics that being kind of neat. But uh, it's pretty standard. <laughs> it's not really all that exciting. This is probably like super loud, ain't it? Accusing going of going back in strong for the answer? What if he genuinely remembered, huh? No proof. It was seven hours ago and he went on a walk. He can't remember anything. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna rewrite uh, history. L plus ratio. I fucking love how the guitar goes off in this. But uh, then it just kind of ends here. And then it becomes sad. Some people are late bloomers, Crust. Call me Cross one more time. Then it goes into a, a saxophone part for like a minute and it ends. Very strange. I wonder when this plays in the game. But, uh, while I heard that song for the first time today, this song is something that's been cemented into my mind for the longest time. It's a remix to this. I just love when songs have like multiple versions of it. Ah, so cool. So I remember Gran Turismo 2 had like two discs to it. Ah, and I, I think one was for like racing and the other one was for like customizing your cars, something like that. I never really got much out of that game. In fact, I'm not even sure if I bought it for myself or someone bought it for me. Quite curious. Is the highest quality version only available? Or rather, is this the highest quality version only available? Uh, probably not. There's probably a higher quality version out there. Why, do you think this is too low quality? Then again, a lot of PS1 music is very compressed. <gasps> no, don't attack that guy! Symbols sound a little crusty. Man, shut up. I hate this feedback. Phoenix is apparently putting out a Chrono Trigger Jazz album. There's one rearrangement of three songs from PC Engine game. Final Soldier goes into a lot of styles and it's amazing. First goes into rock, then some slight sax, then heavy jazz. Heavy jazz. Sampled music on PS1, sure, but PS1 games were put on CDs. Guess. Who knows? I know a lot of the music for the Crash games has to be compressed. And then they were only re-released like some 20 odd years later by Josh Mansell. Quite sad. Is this the game soundtrack? Yes. Do I have 17 downloads? I think I would normally have Cecil have at least a thousand HP. Cecil or Sid, or maybe both of them. Young as well. 
Not Tello though, he's lame. I think this song definitely loops though. Yeah, it's about to end, okay. This song played in like some menu where you were customizing your car. Something like that. And I remember as a kid, it never, it, it didn't seem like it fit. But I was like, huh, okay. FF4 on a PC Engine CD. <laughs> this guy. Someone should make a homebrew. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyways, I don't have any more songs, I don't think. That's it, I'm all out of music. Is there any music that hasn't played from this 593 uh, music playlist? I'm sure there has to be one, right? Have I played this? This shouldn't even be here. Why would I listen to this? That was an L. I've definitely listened to this on stream. from Sonic Spinball right now that you don't even have it. I don't. It's a pretty decent song. I, I probably should have it. No. Uh. Hmm. This song hasn't played in a long time. But uh, it's not something that I added recently. I actually first heard Etika use it a long time ago. Oh, you know what? This. But I mean, people already know. <laughs> it. But uh, I'm going to disappoint you in a bit. <laughs> just keep on listening, just a bit. Smash? Yeah, this is from Smash. <laughs> oh no, where are the lyrics? I'm sorry, man. Can't have any of those lyrics. By the way, uh, Metropolis Street Racer is right there. <laughs> now we've played this before. Not now. Wow, this totally sounds like Brawl. <laughs> I'll go and grind a bit more. We were expecting a Siva Gunner Jape. Nah. Literally nobody cares the lyrics weren't in it. Yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure this played last time. Battle Gariga now! <laughs> I, have, I do have four tracks from it. Is this song from Wii Resort for Ryu? Something like that. Cecil, or rather, Tello don't die. Oh yeah, sure. Cool. Whoa, this song is based. No Sonic. This isn't Sonic music. Why is it always the Wii music that slaps for no reason? This isn't actually Wii music. <laughs> I misled you. <laughs> Tiger Electronic. God, I'm getting so much EXP. The fat get fatter and the skinny get skinnier. Just like it should be. Don't die! Oh my god, I'm I'm getting my ass kicked. I gotta watch out before I die. 
<laughs> Based on what? <laughs> Comet still stands. You feel like the OG FF4 could be on PC Engine CD if someone tried. You would love that so much. It's already on Wonderswan, dude. Everyone loves that console. No. This is the title screen for the Dinosaur No Connection game on Google. What? What are you talking about? Okay, good. It's a shame that Tell doesn't get any more MP. Well, in theory. In theory, he probably could if I gave him a certain item, but I don't think it's possible to get it uh, while he's around. If you were to somehow hack that item, though, uh, maybe he'd actually use Meteo. You don't know that game, Cross? No. Or are you talking about the T-Rex jumping up over Cactus's game? Oh my god. What happened? Shut up, Wonder Swan color is good, I swear. <laughs> doing a horrible job of grinding here. Yes, the dinosaur game. Okay, I didn't know that's what you called it. The dinosaur no connection game. When I saw that, I thought you were like saying some Japanese thing. Toshi no... Uh... <laughs> Daiboken. Tabadachi. Yeah. Gaining money from doing this? Somewhat. When the BPM is 120, but I'm slept anyway. <laughs> is that what the song is? Oh no, you're gonna kick my ass again, aren't you? Wait a second, Kite She? I need to search that up. Kate Sif. says here, Cat Sif, meaning fairy cat, pronounced Cat She, is a fairy creature from Celtic mythology. Ew! Said to resemble a large black cat with a white spot on its breast. Legend has it that the spectral cat haunts the Scottish Highlands. The legends surround this creature, surrounding this creature are more common in Scottish folklore, but few occur in Irish. Some common folklore suggests that the Kite She was not a fairy, but a witch that could transform into a cat nine times. Wow. Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> Kite shit, stop being mean. Okay, I'm, I think I'm finally gonna end today. I don't wanna go over seven hours. Wait, is that why cats are said to have nine lives? It probably goes even further back. But maybe? I'll switch that up right now. Uh, Cat Nine Lives Origin. It's probably gonna say some bullshit like, Oh, it, it only says that because cats have the ability to survive from disasters or some shit. Ew. I didn't remember putting this on shuffle. Egon. Where is it? Oh, I need to subscribe to keep on reading. But I can kind of see what uh, it says back here. Historians say the Egyptians revered the number 9 because they associated it with their sun god. Ah. Their sun god, At Atum Ra. And according to one version, Ra gave birth to eight other gods. 
Since Ra often took the form of a cat, people began associating the lion lives with feline longevity. There you go. Egypt. Pretty sure it's because cats tend to survive things that would most that would kill most animals. Lol. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, but I'll play your battle, Gregor, just to end the stream with it. Uh, which one though? Mm, that one's a bit too low key. Maybe. Mm, too scary. Too high energy. I didn't want to say this, but yeah, it's... Alright, yeah, this is pretty much just right. Alright. Um, yeah, I'll end it there. Did a little bit of grinding at the end while listening to some music. Uh, thank you for popping up in the stream, and thank you for putting up with my bullshit of <laughs> reading random enemy names and their uh, etymology. I'll see you guys soon. I'm not sure about Thursday because... Uh, I have doctor's appointments, but we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. Anyways, see ya soon. Bye-bye!